we're here. Well, this this screen is very bright. Um, I have decided to add <laughs> the chat box back to the screen. This is a different one, and I like it. Um, it's just it's very bright right now in the game. It's very bright. Hopefully, you guys can read that. Um, so yeah, last time we got, uh, up to here and I think this is, this is the last challenge for, uh, this, the Mipha's champion ballads, I guess. And I think we've got to do something with these islands here. Pretty sure. You convinced yourself it was Shooter Star Summit from Paper Mario and I'm listening now and it actually is similar. Oh really? Yeah, there you go. <laughs> Cause I think we need to what did he what did he say? I spoke to him last time but I forget. Uh. Ah, it is you, Link. Princess Mifa's notes contained a phrase related to the trial. While the morning sun is newly born, follow the path of light to the trial. Morning sun. Okay. I wonder what it means. Well, I guess we've got to sit here till morning. This doesn't sound like a Zora voice. I mean, it's my Zora voice, so... You know. Um... I I forget what I gotta do here, but we'll go have a look. I haven't actually been over here yet. In this playthrough. Maelstrom, welcome in. Hello, hello. I should probably get that shrine that's nearby. It was like follow the light. I don't know if I should have like just like glided over. I don't know what I'm doing. I forget what I'm doing. You're not alive, are you? No. Is this something about morning light? I don't remember what that means. <gasps> nice. What do we got? Some only two amber from that? Surely that would give me like... Ooh, what's that? I kind of want to break that one. This is probably not the way that I need to be going. Ooh, that one has a ruby? Sugar, hello, hello, how you doing? And retro graphics, hello. Don't head towards the light. Not that kind of light. <laughs> oh, this looks um like a little dangerous if I stayed nearby. You know, that's fine. <gasps> it's a core rock. We found you. Plonk. Uh, I'm gonna get these. Oh, I didn't mean to... Yeah, I guess I'll attack you. I know this is almost broken. Yeah. Alright, what else can we use? We are running low on weapons, actually. <laughs> I didn't mean to do that. I'm gonna have a look. And see if my adventure log says anything. Yeah, find where the light's path shows. <sighs> I have no idea. It's nice of them to add all that wind around here, so if you do fall off, <laughs> you're not just dead. Did I get a better sleep last night, Emma? I think I did. 
I didn't get to bed. I got to bed by a decent time, and I feel like I had an okay sleep. Although I did wake up this morning a bit, like, I don't know what time it was. I wasn't paying attention, but... Oh, there's a fireplace here. I was kind of like tossing and turning a few hours before I had to wake up, so that was kind of annoying, but overall it was okay. <gasps> there's so much here. I'm getting distracted. Did I finish Resident Evil 3? No, no. We... Um, made progress and I actually got up to an area that I that wasn't in the original um, but I need to redo a couple of things um, but I didn't have the time to redo them yesterday but yeah definitely definitely did not finish it <laughs> I don't so I don't think it's a very from what I've heard I don't think it's a very long game but I actually have no idea of like how long it's actually going to be I don't know. Follow the light. I don't know what this means. I'm just gonna keep going across here and see what's at the end. It's still technically the morning. It's 9, 10 in game. Something about following the light. Now are you alive? Probably not, but there's a shrine nearby. Hmm. Faye, hello Faye, how you doing? The Blood Queen, Emma. <laughs> also, I'm going to do a couple other things in the chat. Give me a second. Katie, you might find something new next to your name. Maybe. And... Sugar as well. <laughs> I recently added some some new VIPs, and um, it's on my mind. So when I see people, I'm like, mm, okay, we'll add some more. <laughs> I hope you do it well, Faye. That's okay, Katie. Honestly, it's one thing that I just like, I forget that like VIPs are a thing sometimes and I'm like, oh my, all these people should be VIP. Like, why are they not VIP? Because I just like, I never think of it. <laughs> and as long as I do. Today's just a chill day for you hanging out. Nice. That sounds like a good day. I honestly like chill out days are probably some of the best. Oh, hey, look at you. <laughs> you can't see me because of the mask. My day's going okay. I've got a bit of a headache. Um, but other than that, I'm doing good. It felt very nice to finally wash my hair last night. <laughs> because my head was getting itchy and I was like, I need to wash it. There's so many Koroks here. Like, that's a Korok? Thank you for the folly. Welcome in. It's up there. First time for me being a VIP. Oh, is it? Oh, up there. Ouch. You hope to be important someday. Probably not very, but at least a little. <laughs> There's something new next to your name as well, sugar. Um, I feel like 
Oh my god, why? These things are like everywhere. You're really annoying. You're very annoying. Is there anything under this? I feel like there should be. This is the VIP stream. Mm hmm. You all very much deserve the VIP. Okay, hopefully that just goes flying. <gasps> Is the shrine? Oh, there's a shrine down here. I wasn't sure if there would be. Okay. I don't know if I'm gonna do the shrine though, because we wanna do the light thingy. It's it's already 11, it's 11.45. I think we gotta change it to be morning again anyway. So you know what? We'll do it, we'll do the shrine. We'll do it. Fine, I'll leave. <laughs> you know, you can't be VIP and a mod. It's like one or the other. <laughs> VIPs and mods are taking over. Yeah, drop and rise. What do we got here? Okay. Uh, I guess we'll pop this over here. I was like, there's gotta be more, right? I don't wanna... Wait, is that normal arrows? Oh, it is. I got 60. All right. I was going to waste them, but... Oh, I can't reach it. I can reach it. Okay, so that doesn't go any higher. But what if I... I don't know if this is gonna work. How heavy is this one? Not very heavy. <laughs> There's gotta be another block somewhere. When I get my I can get my arrows back. How many shrines? Um I don't remember. When we get the loading screen, we'll have a look. <laughs> But also because I've done a bunch of the DLC ones, then like, it's it includes them. I forget how many DLC ones there are, but there's more than I rem honestly remember being. So, I have to take that into account too. <laughs> butt spot. Shry butts. <laughs> Is that it? Is that all the pieces that I have to work with here? There's none hiding up top. Um. As soon as I lift that off, it does that, and that doesn't. Hmm. Earthworm Jim has a level called Buttsville, really? <laughs> That's funny. Okay, so I can I he can kind of stand on that? Not really. <gasps> mm. 
That's what I need to do. That's what I need to do. That's a damn hard level. <laughs> Ooh, a diamond. That's good. I don't know if there's anything up top over there. No, oh, no. Okay. I might have a look. It'll let me. I'm gonna come back here. Okay, I don't think I. Oh! Ha! Huh. I didn't know that you could climb this stuff. <laughs> That's something new! That's something new that I learned about the game. Okay. I'm like, can I? <laughs> you can't climb any further. <laughs> Look at this. There we go. I'm not going to make it over there. That's fine. There we go. There we go. We've never seen anything like that. Neither. Neither. I need to clip that and put it on TikTok and be like, look what happened. And it's been, no one's ever done it before. So then like it does really well. There we go. Done. Done. Like I've literally never seen, I've personally never experienced climbing on something like that in the game. I didn't realize I could. <laughs> All right. Uh, that is just a normal shrine. It's not the DLC one. So we've done 83 shrines but i don't know if that counts the dlc ones or not maybe it doesn't maybe it doesn't 83 i don't remember if it counts that's a lot yeah we've done we've done quite a few I mean, I could probably just make my own fire. Where? Someone's joining us. Hi, Agatha. Okay, so I'm actually at the, <laughs> this is right, this is Tingle Island. <laughs> um, I really don't remember what to do here. <gasps> Please destroy this island. Okay, what if we... Wait, 
Where's my flint? Here? No, that's luminous stone. Here. I don't know if I need fire for this one, but we're gonna, we're gonna use fire. I think I can just hit it. <laughs> Morning. It's raining. It's like follow the morning light or something. I don't know. Does he see me because it's a silver one? I can't hide from the silvers. Does anyone remember what you're meant to do here? Because I sure don't. Hello. Oh, maybe he doesn't hurt me. Do I have a photo of you? <laughs> Look at that. Okay, he doesn't hurt me. Because Muzu said you have to like follow, I think it was something about following the morning light. I kind of want this guy's shield and armor though. I don't want to use that. Come up here. I want your stuff. I want your all oh, your friends coming along now, huh? Okay. No, don't call your horse, Emma. Jeez. Hee <laughs> hee. Oh, my bow broke. Yeah. It's fine. It's fine. Wow, that was, that was good. Come here, buddy. Okay, yeah. Ooh. I was like, there must be guardians nearby. There's the flying ones, so that makes sense. Okay. Don't. Where'd your sword go? Where did the sword, where did the sword go? It didn't fucking fall off, did it? Oh, bloody... No, it didn't fall off. Royal Shield 61! Oh, no, I want that, I want that, I want that. Can you leave me alone? I just... Bring the shield here, away from the edge. I want the shield. It was a high level one, I think. Yeah, it's more than even this one. Um, uh, what, what do I want to get rid of? I don't know if the night shield is good. Are the ra do you guys know if the radiant shields are better than the night shields? Obviously the defense is better on the knight's ones, but I don't know. I would have just ran and got myself killed. <laughs> 
I need more. I need more sh shield space. Inventory slots. I don't know if I should get rid of this one. Oh, look at that. Look at that shield. Look at that. Not sure to be honest, I never had a feel for what was best in this game, weapons or shields, or bows even, yeah. I honestly just went by like the number. <laughs> like obviously these ones it's like times three. Um, and I mean bows, you've got like the ones that, you know, zoom in more, but other than that, anything that has durability up is better for shields. Yeah, okay. So this is shield guard up, so maybe, If I pick this one, because this one has the durability up, even though it's less defense. We will do that. You know what, I'm going to get rid of this guy because he's really annoying. You know what, let's hope that I don't get seen. Break those. Oh, hello. <laughs> uh, and we'll grab the chest. Fifty two. Nice. I'm not using this because it's the Rivalis. <laughs> okay. Uh, oh, is that a chest? That is a chest. Honestly, it doesn't matter anyway because you get so much stuff. That's true. very true yeah for me like the weapon breaking I feel like I never minded it because <laughs> this you get so many weapons and so many like bows and shields like I'm very rarely I'm very rarely I have this happen but even if, with all these slots I still have all these swords so it's just like, it's kind of annoying if you like, yeah, you lose a sword that is good, but usually like, you'll know where to get those swords again. Um, and it's fun getting new items and getting new weapons. It kind of gives you that same feeling. <laughs> so yeah I'm like I don't mind I honestly don't mind it because if they if they limited the amount of stuff you found then yeah that would suck but like they don't so Katie okay, you hate when one of my hairs gets in your food yeah well it's it's annoying when it's like <laughs> you're eating food and you can feel one of your own hairs in there not pleasant not pleasant at all you found it exciting when I was low on stuff honestly yeah I'm like I have all these slots to fill up now I don't have to worry about Having to ditch something, you know, better than someone else's hair. That's very true. <laughs> very, very true. Okay. Um, I mean, we can take that because we have the space for it. Okay. I was like, is that going to actually break that? Break the wood, please. Thank you. Um, I am lost on what to do. It's annoying for me because you shred like a dog. <laughs> Same for you, Katie. I, um, my, my hair does me sh sh shred, shed, yeah. Um, sheds a bit as well. It does. But 
I know it's mine if I find it. It's easy to tell. <sighs> I don't know what to do here. I'm stuck. Find where the light's path follows. I don't know what... I don't know what this means. Hmm. Where are you? There you are. <laughs> I like getting the little tuft of grass and then they're like, wait, where did it go? You don't want to look at my hairbrush? <laughs> oh, whenever I brush my hair, like, I need to, like, get the hair out of the hairbrush. Um... I don't have to go and talk to the other guy again. Something about, I think he's, he specified the morning, like morning light. And this is fine. One, find what the light's path shows. I don't know if I need to maybe like use like a torch or something. Ooh, there's that. I remember that shrine there with the swirly beach. Uh-oh, it's going to start storming. <sighs> and raining. Oi. Oh, fuck. My shield. And my bow. It's raining where you are, Faye. Oh, it's very massive. Oh, nice. It rained a little bit recently here. But it's not right now. There are so many of these Octoroks here. Holy shit, I feel like there's more than usual. They're just actually everywhere. Where'd the other one go? Oh, I can see it. I can see you! Don't get me started on the shower drain. Thankfully we have something that stops the hair from clogging the drain. Yeah. See, I don't know if I have to go back to the start. The only light thing that I can think of. This is very steep. This is extremely steep. Um... The only thing I can think of is like a torch. There was an area where I could light one, well, where I could set a fire, but like it's raining, so. I don't know. Hey, Death Wizard, how you doing? I'm doing all right. Just trying to figure out this puzzle. You're doing good? That's good. <sighs> yeah, either following the light as in like a torch, but it does specify the morning. So it's like, maybe we go to just like, I 
I don't know. Does anyone here, like, actually remember what you meant to do? <laughs> because I kind of want to just... Absolutely not, yeah. <laughs> I'm tempted to just look it up. It's been so long, yeah. And I've obviously, I've done this before in the past, but... Are you making those sounds? Let's go, let's go talk to Muzu again. Oh, fuck off. I really wish that the mask worked on them. Because they're so annoying. Maybe I've been like, take a photo or note down what Muzu says. Okay, there's a shrine near here. So maybe we find whatever this shrine is. That way I can... Oh! I wanted to get that lizard. You jerk. Oh no, this shrine is like an annoying one. You've got to like, I remember this one. Uh, okay, maybe I, where did, where's our travel, travel medallion? Our travel medallion is where we found the dragon, but that's really easy to get to. I can just glide from here to there if I really want to go back. So... Actually, let's just put, um, uh, maybe the bow as in like shooting the dragon. Hopefully that makes sense. <laughs> and we'll move the travel medallion over here. Maybe up on top of this little bit. Uh, you just finished the ascent. Oh yeah, it was okay. Um, if it didn't have a cyberpunk aesthetic and I wasn't in the mood for that, I probably wouldn't have continued it. Yeah, yeah. I feel like you were playing that one for a bit, weren't you? Maybe like little bits here and there. All right. Okay, let's pop the medallion. Yeah. That's a very useful item. Very, very useful. It's nice being able to like, get use out of it as well. Rather than getting it like late with the DLC. All right. While the morning sun is newly born Follow the path of light to the trial. I'm taking a photo of this. Just in case, so I can like go back and read it if I want. It was okay for one, I didn't have much time. I could do like five minutes, uh, complete one objective, then come back later. Yeah, yeah. Uh, Sheikah, welcome in. Hello, hello. How you doing? While the morning sun is newly born, follow the path of light to the trial. So if I, I, I have a feeling, I have a feeling that the shrine is going to end up at that end part. But I don't understand... Follow the path of light. I understand, like, we need to be here in the morning. Um. But 
but I don't know what light path they're following. <laughs> You're doing good? That's good to hear. I'm doing alright. I got a bit of a headache this morning. Which is annoying. But I've taken some painkillers. But other than that, I'm doing good. Hoping to get through this part of the DLC today. I just want the, I want the bike. I want the bike already. <laughs> Thank you. I hope I feel better too. Hopefully. Now, there was a campfire somewhere nearby. You had too much fun with the bike. It was just annoying because I feel like I didn't get a lot of use out of it. Because it was like I had pretty much done everything. So I'm excited to get it and then we can actually use the bike. You know, while finding the rest of the shrines and stuff. Okay, maybe it's not here. I'm just, oh my God. Look at the weather forecast. It's like, it's constant rain. So I don't know if that is going to affect finding the light. Oi. Those guys. Those bats. I don't know if I meant to start this like here or like over there. You used it for fun, riding down mountains and doing sick tricks, yeah. <laughs> it, um, I don't know if you ever saw this, Faye, but Nintendo made an April Fool's joke. I'm pretty sure it was an April Fool's joke where it was like a, like a cyberpunk, futuristic looking Zelda game. And I'm pretty sure it had a motor motorcycle in it. And I'm like... I wonder if, like, that's why they added the bike in this, because they had, like, <laughs> they'd made that joke before. I know, like, futuristic cyberpunk is very much not Zelda, but, like, I'd play it. I'd play it. Thank you for the follow. You can't remember that. It may have been around the Twilight Princess time. Maybe. You just sure play Zelda 2077? Yeah. <laughs> hey Doomwave, how you doing? Let me see if I can find it. You might have seen it, you don't remember, yeah. Um Futuristic Zelda. Uh, is it was it on April Fools? Yeah, so it was basically like concept art they had. I don't know. Is this it? That is not it. It definitely, like, I don't think I'm making it up. <laughs> like, I'm pretty sure it existed. But I can't find it. But yeah. Also, I just realized, Ankle Island, Knuckle Island. Sounds like a dream, Emma. I don't think it was. Like, I'm pretty sure, I remember like me and my sister seeing it. So uh, maybe it was, you vaguely remember it too. It might've been, a f not a fish, wait, might not have been official April Fool's, might've just been fan mate. Yeah, maybe. 
I was going to say, maybe because you were playing too much Breath of the Wild, you dropped it. Now, this was like, this is like, uh, like around more like Twilight Princess time that I remember seeing it. I swear. Oh, there's a fire case here? Where was this? There was like a fireplace that they've, like the game like was already there that I didn't make. And I was like, maybe I meant to use that one. I was like, oh, not these guys, but they can't, they can't, um, they don't realize that I'm in those guys as well. Come on, that's not fair. I mean, I'm fine, but. Well, I can't test out my like torch theory right now. I think I might have to look this up because I am just like, I don't know. I'm lost. I don't want to be stuck on this forever. we got to power through the game, you know. <gasps> we have less than two weeks. Less than two weeks until Tears of the Kingdom. You probably looked up to. I don't remember what I like when I what I played it previously. I don't know what I would have done then. Let's have a look. Um, Zelda. Champions ballad. Follow the light. Find what the light's path shows. <gasps> okay, so the other ones have had ones where you've got to like go through the blue rings. I think it might be this one because we haven't done one of them for this lot, I don't think. Let's see if I can like find something that's not a video. God, go away. Oh my god, there's so many ads and this page is so slow. What happened to that cool... That cool I had? Ooh, we have plenty of time to get through Breath of the Wild. Well, I mean, I could easily finish the game now, but like, for what I want to do... Um, you know what I haven't done? They basically hinted at you like going over and talking to the Zora King and Prince Sidon, but I didn't do that. I've just like gone to find <laughs> the things. You won't have to talk to them, but I skipped that, didn't I? All right. I'm up to the one that I need. Sit at the nearby campfire until morning and look out over the ocean between Ankle Island and Knuckle Island. Oh, 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 okay. Uh, JS, hello, hello, how you doing? Good thing I have this here. So... We rested this bonfire. Um, 
and then we look at the light and we glide over and there's like a shrine on the water or something. I didn't know you were 100%ing oh, I'm not 100%ing it. I am... So what I want to do is I want to do the DLC. I want to do Trial of the Sword. I want to do Trial of the Sword. Um, and I want to get all the shrines. That's about it. I think we can do that. Okay. Is it just like over there? That's where the sun's coming up, right? Between ankle and knuckle. <gasps> Look at the ring down there. There it is. <sighs> that was kind of close. I literally do not remember doing this. <laughs> so many shrines, yeah. Once we have the bike that we can like zoom around, you know? And look, I don't have to do Trial of the Sword, but I'd like to give it another try. So the other one had many rings to follow. This one just has like the one ring. I thought it was like something to do with the islands and going to the end. <laughs> I was wrong. You see, I don't remember this one being in the middle of the ocean. <laughs> There's some fish on it. <laughs> I don't have them yet. Mighty Porgy. I mean, I'm probably like never gonna travel to this shrine, right? Never gonna go out here. Also, I just realized the DL sh the shrines are obviously DLC because they've got like a longer bit. That orange bit is longer in the middle there. Unlike these ones where it's like a little one. Yeah. Oh, I'm an idiot. <laughs> I didn't need to travel. I'm getting my A's and B's mixed up again. So it says 83 shrines. We'll see how many it says after we do this one. It says 83 right now. Yesterday there was this strange blonde woman streaming on your channel. Uh, Doom wave. Do do. Thank you for the six month resub. Happy six months. The melting point. Thank you. I was confused too. Is Eliza Walker? I don't know who that is. <laughs> is that an actual person? Okay. Got some ice. Can I climb you? I cannot. Can I bomb you? I cannot. Can I move you? Hmm. You're gonna slide? <laughs> Do I have to melt you? Don't melt the other one. I have to melt them. Oh, Resident Evil 1.5 character. Right, right, right. What happened to Emily? Have you cruelly killed her? Of course not. Of course not. <laughs> okay. I'm going to change my weapon just in case I don't want to melt them. I don't know if I do. Oh, there's fire there. <gasps> if you need it. I'm 
Okay. I feel like I should be able to climb these. I can climb like the ones that I create, right? If you Google Resident Evil 1.5 Magic Zombie Door, you'll find a playable version. Oh, really? Hmm. You grabbed it today, Faye? <gasps> nice. Okay, I don't think there's any point in doing that anymore unless these like melt completely that does like a little bit Good thing I've got a fire sword. Kind of want to melt this one. Enough so I can kind of like climb it and then like jump up maybe? But I don't know if that's what I meant to do here. <gasps> okay. Ah, change your weapon back. If I have my weapon, I'm going to melt this. Stop it. Don't mind me. I don't know if I... Come on, Link, you can climb it. You can climb it. <laughs> if that's what I meant to do. Are there any secrets in here? Am I meant to do this? <laughs> oh, can I just, I can just walk in here. Oh, right. Okay, I think we have to melt this a little bit to get it in there, maybe. Because using these is not going to be enough. So let's just move it over there and then we'll melt it when it's closer. Yeah, yes, thank you for the Hydra and the stretch. You love ice cream with pretzels in it. I don't think I've ever had that. But I feel like that'd be nice because it'd be like, you know, a bit salty. So it's, I mean, I like like salted caramel and stuff. Okay. And now we wait.
I reckon we melt this, move it through, put ice blocks underneath it, and then that's how we try to climb up. I don't know. There's a lot of puzzles in this where I'm just like, am I doing this right? <laughs> I don't know. I mean, there's many ways for you to solve the puzzles in this game, so... That looks right. Can I just push it? I can't just push it, that's really annoying. I think it kind of like went up, which is why it didn't go very far. Yeah, okay, that's better. That's better. Now I kind of want to... Oh, it's sliding, he's sliding, he's sliding. Come on, Link. <gasps> no! I did it. I did it. We did it. <laughs> it worked. <sighs> yeah, not sure if that's the intended way, but... Also, I don't think I found any chests in here. It's fine. It's fine. And that should be our last Mifa trial, which means we have, we go to Divine Beast of Aruta and we fight Water Blight again and again with whatever they give us. Which shouldn't be difficult. And yeah, so the DLC shrines do not count towards the total amount, so that's still 83. So we've done 83 normal main game shrines. Um, cool. Let's get rid of that. Let's put... I think the shrine is somewhere around here. So the one that was, like, going off. I'll leave this here so I can travel back and get that. Um, but we want to go to, oh wait, oh, I can get rid of this too. Divine Beast of Aruta. Also, I don't know if you guys saw, but recently, um, a bunch of like, content creators got given access to play some Tears of the Kingdom and they put out videos and it's taking a lot for me to not go and watch that. Like, wait, really? Yeah. It was like a couple of days ago. A bunch of YouTubers and stuff have released like videos of them playing it. And it's like, I've seen a couple of small things like online um, nothing too spoilery and like from what I understand there's no like story spoilers or anything like that um, it's more about like you know game mechanics that kind of thing but normally I would really want to go watch that but I'm like trying to not do it because <laughs> the game's not far away and I'm like I'm gonna have that experience soon uh, let's change up my clothing actually because we we're not gonna get much defense Actually, no, they change our clothing for us, I think. Food, though. We want to we wanna eat one of the big meals. Because that stays. We're going to get some more durians soon, too. Um, and then, I'm, yeah, our clothing and our weapons change, I'm pretty sure. 
But actually, let's do a save. Haven't done a manual save in a bit. Give Emma access to. <sighs> self-control, Emma, self-control. I know, I know. You'll wait to watch me play it, sugar. <sighs> I'm so hyped for it. And it's like, it's the first. So I've played a couple of Zelda games for the first time on stream. You know, I played Minish Cap last year. Um, I played Zelda. I played The Legend of Zelda. I played Zelda 2. Uh, I played The Link's Awakening remake. A Link to the Past. So I've played a couple, like, first time on stream. But this is probably the first. This is the first new Zelda game. <laughs> like, new new Zelda game that I'll, I will have streamed. Um, will it be my first game stream on release? Not my first. There's a couple, like years ago that I that I played on release like I played Yoshi's Crafted World on release um that was like I think on the day of release as well so it's, this is, won't be my first but it's it's very rare for me to play games on release because I know a lot of you guys are like try to avoid it um but I can't help it <laughs> with with this game. It's either it's either I play it on release or I play it in my own time. You know, I'm not gonna I'm not gonna want to wait to play Breath uh, sorry, sorry, Tears of the Kingdom. But for those of you that are avoiding it, I will still try to play another game on a different day throughout the week. Um so that you're not missing like every single stream. And so I'm not like burning out on it either, you know, and it makes the game last a bit longer. And because I'm really slow, I'm, I might just be really slow and you guys can power through before me. <laughs> United with the fandom. You love Zelda, but I'll probably only play it after a year or so. And Zelda is not a game where spoils matter much to me, to be honest. Yeah, look, some people like are probably going to watch and they're going to play it as well and they don't really care, you know. It, it is different. Even if I've watched a game before playing it, it's different when you actually get to play it yourself too. Uh, Matthew, welcome in. You seem like a wonderful person. I hope life is going uh, your way. It is. Thank you. That's very kind. You're not buying it so you watch. Yeah, yeah. I know you don't play it, JS. Games I have to play on release are Kingdom Hearts, Metroid, Zelda, and any Final Fantasy VII related game. Yeah. Uh, Trial, hello again. Welcome back. Okay, we got we got a boss to fight and some cutscenes. Um. Yeah, and like it was. It was tough not playing Elden Ring on release. <laughs> um, like I was, I was fine, like just holding off on it. Um, but Elden Ring, you know, the Soulsborne games aren't super story heavy. You know, it's very, um, yeah, not. So I think as well with like Zelda, like I, I, part of me is like, I don't want to wait either because I would be afraid of seeing spoilers. And also when I play Tears of the Kingdom, I hope we have some mods that can stick around for it because it might be, it, we might get people trying to spoil shit too, because I'll be playing it on release. Um, so yeah, to make sure that we have mods, mods around for that. Um... Or I still have my like my move command, the exclamation point move. So if anyone isn't a mod but you're here and something like looks like a spoiler, you can just post that and it'll move the chat up for me. Nowadays the only games you that you play on release are Resident Evil games. Yeah, okay. Do you want any do you want any or of the party mix things or are you okay? <laughs> About Ethan for lunch. You can have them. I don't know if I would particularly like them, and they're probably a bit. Um, I mean, I wouldn't have them like on stream because they're too messy. But you can have them if you really want. I'm sure we can get them again sometime if I want them. 
it's been harder and harder for you to play games on release now. Sugar, you like waiting till all the DLCs and updates are out to play it all at once. Yeah, that's fair. We tried to help with move command, but I probably wouldn't know what is or is not a spoiler. I mean, I prefer you guys being more careful. Um, you know, and I don't, I wouldn't, unless someone says like, get good as like a joke spoiler. I don't really want like, I don't want joke spoilers that could be seen as a real spoiler either, you know. So even if someone's joking, I'd rather not have them not do that. <laughs> You're only citing Xenoblade Chronicles 3 now that everything is already released and was going to wait till the end of the year, but they anticipated um, the releases. Yeah, yeah, okay. You try to be here to keep an eye on things? Thank you, Brownie. Yeah, I like the I like the move command thingy because if someone, like, you know, either doesn't want to be a mod or, like, for whatever reason, at least you guys can still help out with that too. Okay, let's do it. Let's do it. To the one who approaches this divine beast, in the name of the goddess Hylia, I offer this trial. In exchange for Ruta's emblems, you will be granted the chance to tread th through the realm of memories. Those who lack determination will find this trial unforgiving. Do not take this place lightly, nor dismiss it as merely a world within your mind. The truth is much deeper than you know. Ban everyone. No. <laughs> this illusory realm was created from the depths of your memories. <gasps> the enemy you shall face is a product of the fear that dwells within. You must overcome this fear to proceed. I don't think I got a photo of Waterblight Ganon. This battle is a trial of the soul. You must emerge victorious using only the tools provided. Oh yeah, we got the full Zora armor on. I need to get that. Also, I will catch up on chat um, just after watching this. We'll have a little pause for a second. And we'll get a photo. We gotta get a photo. Because I don't think I have one. What a blight, Ganon. Oh, it's about to hit me. <laughs> okay, we pause, we pause. You love this armor set? Yeah, it's pretty cool. I need to get the rest of it. I don't remember where you get it. Um, Brownie, you don't know what you're gonna do that day. I'm thinking of sleeping in the afternoon before to play all night till morning if my body allows me. Um, so I technically get it like a day before you guys because I'm in Australia and it comes out I mean, it comes out on Friday for you guys as well. It comes out on my Friday. Um, and I don't know... I don't Because I'm getting a physical copy. I, I've got to go and pick it up. Um, but I'm hoping to stream that day because... I'm probably not going to be able to play it on my Saturday or my Sunday. Because I have things on. Because it's Mother's Day weekend in Australia. So... <laughs> um have a little break and then get back to it on the Monday probably. And for the first week I'll probably like just play Tears of the Kingdom. And then the following weekend we'll get back to something else too. I don't know. We'll see. I'll figure it out. <sighs> I'm in the future. Yeah. You like Link's design in Tears of the Kingdom. He has a cool primal look. Yeah. 
24 hour release on stream <laughs> release day that no no then i wouldn't be able to do my plans that i that i might have on the saturday because i'll need to sleep so it's always it's not gonna happen <laughs> all right what do we have what do we even have here <laughs> i've got three of these well i mean i guess i guess we get to use mifa's trident for once you give me 10 arrows Okay, we gotta we gotta use um Oh do I only have one left? Oh no. No 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 okay. Okay. That's fine. I'm just gonna take the hits. Probably not the best plan, but... <laughs> I've tried to avoid it that time. I was like, he's not doing much. <laughs> yeah, yeah, we have platforms. I know, I know, I know. Climb up. You're going right above me. I can't bloody well see you. I literally cannot see. I can't fucking see a thing. Can you... Not? No. I don't want to waste my, like... <laughs> I'm already wasting them. Climb up, climb up, climb up. I didn't mean to do that. Oh, okay. <laughs> okay. I have like one arrow left. That's all I can do. Come over here, come over here. I I wanna do the the thing. Oh my god. <laughs> I might actually die in this one. And I've got like no health. I don't think I can cook it. What? Why can't I? I'm holding Y. Isn't it Y? There we go. That, I, that's the only thing that I can do. That's literally it. I can't do any other damage. I can't do any other damage. I can't do anything else. Oh, fuck off. I... Okay, we got that though, we got that. If I can actually fucking hit him. <laughs> I don't know what I can attack him with. 
What can I? What can I attack him with? I got fucking nothing. I got my thing, but he's floating in the air. Um. <sighs> How long will I stream for today? I will stream until Kieran starts his stream, probably. Unless I feel like I need to finish early, because I got a bit of a headache. I got distracted and didn't hear your answer about lunch. I said, uh, no, I won't have any of it. You can have it. It's fine. And no mushroom sandwiches. <sighs> hey, Cads, how you doing? Get on the floor, you bitch. Yeah, I... Like, ten arrows is fucking rude. Honestly. And even when I was hitting him, he wasn't getting on the floor either. So it was like, okay, I have to rely on Obosa's Fury, I guess, but I have to wait for that to reset. Oh, I can get you from here. Oh, wow. Okay. Okay. Um, this actually feels doable. <laughs> no, 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 no. No, I can't fucking see. Wow. Okay. You doing more? You doing more? You doing more? All right. No, clap, clap, link, link, fucking climb, link, fucking climb. <sighs> we got him. <laughs> I was, I didn't really know what to do there, but we figured it out. We figured it out. There we go. First try, didn't die. <sighs> I thought I was gonna be stuck on that and having to wait for Obrosis Fury to like reload. Cause I only went in with one Obrosis Fury. And I got a picture, I did. <sighs> well, well, though our aims are different, our feet took us to the same destination. <sighs> Faye, you didn't realize that that works either? I was like, this is the only way that I can get close to him. Otherwise, I need to just avoid everything and wait for Obosa's Fury, right? Um, Katie, you just noticed a couple of small bruises. At least I think they are bruises on my arm. I don't remember bumping into anything. Oh, no. It would be cool to obtain this ice power. Mm. Your sister's really white. I say she's transparent. <laughs> And appears with random bruises all the time out of nowhere. Yeah. Some people just bruise very easily, you know. I speak figurative figuratively, of course. I travel by wing rather than by foot. <laughs> ah. Wandering around here and listening to anecdotes about champion Mifa has truly invigorated me. In fact, it has inspired me to honor her in my own way, separate from my teacher's unfinished song. That is why I felt inclined to roost here near the divine beast Varuta, which Mifa herself mastered. Yeah. I have written a song to try and capture the essence of champion Mifa. Recall the champion of Varuta's wrath before she walked her chosen path. Mifa's kindness was known to all. Which is why the princess came to call. Cutscene. They look really tiny there. So, princess, 
May I ask who the other chosen champions are? Goron Vigilance, Daruk. Rito Confidence, Rivali. Gerudo Spirit, Robosa. And also, the Hylian with the sword that seals the darkness. <gasps> Me. Oh. Is that baby Sidon? Sidon, hurry and swim up here. Look at the baby. Perhaps he's still too young to swim up this big waterfall. One day, princess, I must leave him to face my fate with Ruta. <sighs> Little like headpiece thingy. <laughs> ah. <laughs> He's like headpiece thing is really long. on you to protect our beloved home from harm. Understood? She's grabbing his cheeks. He's got some good eyeliner on too. I believe in you. Now, shall we try one more time? <laughs> <laughs> Hmm. Though she was known for her kindness, it seems the Zora princess could be quite strict when necessary. So, what do you think of Champion Mipha's song? By writing a song that captures the, te the determination of Champion Mipha, I feel closer than ever to my dear teacher. Oh. The end result is not quite clear yet, but I'm beginning to feel a stirring of inspiration about those verses. You're so strong. <gasps> so much stronger than before. The power of Mipha's grace will now recharge much faster. As powerful as you are, I am certain you can save Hyrule, as well as the princess who awaits you. Thanks, Mipha. He is Azora, yes. All right, that is the third part of the DLC done. So we have the last part to go, and then we can hopefully finally get this goddamn bike soon. <laughs> um, Cass, we're gonna meet you over in Elden, where, hang on. I gotta click the thingy again. Where are we going? We are going over here. All right, well, let's put on some hmm, appropriate clothings. Because it's gonna be hot over there and make sure I've got nothing wooden on. Definitely those. Um, I'm gonna use the Royal Broadsword. All right, let's go. Bike hype. I just, I just want the bike. I, I forgot how much you had to go through. I mean, look, it's, it's good that they added a lot of, a lot of DLC content. Like, I just forgot how much there was. Um. So yeah, we're finally gonna be getting through it. 
And it, it almost kind of feels like I'm playing the DLC for the first time again, because I, like, I literally forgot a lot of the DLC. Um, so yeah, seeing those cutscenes again, I'm like, oh, this is nice. I forgot about them. Okay, we want to go... We'll just follow the path down a little bit and then go to wherever that is. I'm just so excited to ride around <laughs> on the bike. Oh, actually, while we're here, there is um, a lady here that we who buys gems for more than you can usually sell them for. I don't know if I have enough because you have to sell them in like lots of 10. She's normally hanging around here, but maybe it's in the wrong time. I'll have a wander around. You know what I haven't done either? Actually, wait. Do you guys remember Pink Lemonade? Do you get um, a shrine from doing Tarrytown? Is that required for a shrine? I forget if you get a shrine from that. I'm gonna grab that. Just in case. Okay, I don't see her. That's fine. So, oh, it's all the way up there. Wow. Okay. Um, maybe we climb up here and then like glide over. You don't remember? Yeah. I, I, I'm just trying to think if you get a shrine in Tarrytown or not. I don't know if you do. I mean, like the Tarrytown quest is just a lot of fun anyway. But, yeah, I don't remember. What's this? Is it just pots? Yeah. And a sledgehammer. We're just going to climb up. And I'm going to... Uh, we could probably just Revali's Gale. There. And then glide over to here. Okay, that works. And then they'll probably want us to talk to like the Goron chief. <laughs> and hopefully that'll help with these ones. I don't know. I will grab this because these are good for making money. And I need all the money I can get for my house. Hi Cass. I applaud your courage in coming here. The locations that will be revealed to you are of trials that will enhance the power sleeping within. Do not let your guard down. Mm -hmm. One's like right on the mountain. <laughs> The three trials seem to have a um, similar themes. Like, there's always one where you got to go through the blue rings. That light. Is it a reaction to someone nearby? Is it me or is it? Aww. What's this? A traveler in the land of flames? Are you truly able to withstand the heat? I know it's not my business, but I'm rather concerned. I feel like... I don't know how Cass is surviving here. He's like covered in feathers. How far is your Tarrytown? Like how much have I, have I done any of it? Is that what you mean? I've bought my house, but that's like literally all I've done. <laughs> I have not started the Tarrytown quest. Mm. 
it must be that you applied an ample amount of fireproof elixir just as I did. Is that so? Oh, he's using that. It is. Nope. That's not it. Oh. How about that? You must have a natural ability to withstand intense heat, just like the Gorons. I mean, look at my clothes. <laughs> as for me, if I don't use fireproof elixir, I go from a bard to a baked bird. Well, never mind my musings. Look, I'm sure you already know, but it's one of the monuments mentioned in my teacher's unfinished song. Oh. <sighs> I wonder if my teacher ever contemplated this very song at this very spot. The song my teacher left behind, there's a verse about the trials that champion Daruk. Okay, I didn't press that, it just does that. Crawling flame on a mighty peak. Rudania, Rudania's champion, never weak. The hero's power shall grow. Seek trials, monuments show. One, stop a titan of molten stone. Two, follow rings of light alone. Three, survive lava's fiery fate. Champion, trials await. Oh, hey, trial. <laughs> So, did it move you? By understanding the true natures of the champions, I'm closer than ever to completing those key verses. I can imagine it vividly, the champions' vigilance from 100 years ago. Mm. My teacher always advised that to write good songs, one must travel the world and meet lots of people. That is why I spend my days afoot talking to anyone who will listen. I was lucky enough to meet with Yonobo and Bluto, in Goron City, both of whom knew much about the Goron champion. They regaled, regaled me with some rather interesting stories. Mm. I'm certain the stories they shared will help greatly in my efforts to accurately write the song's key verses. This is Trials Moment! <laughs> okay, so I'm pretty sure obviously there's like the Rings of Light one. I think one of them is like fighting a stone talus and then... I don't know what the other one is. This one is like, okay, so it's, when I'm looking at the map, it's on like the six o'clock part on the battery edges. That's like here. Um, good thing that the Divine Beast is really close by to that. Huh, this looks like a little crab. It's like a circle and it's got like three little legs on the side and it's like pincers. It's on the other end of the lake with the crab. <laughs> oh, it's that one. Um, how far along was it though? Quite far. So like, here was it? <gasps> I want that butterfly, damn it. Uh, JS, thank you for the exercise. 10 push-ups? We'll see, we'll see. Hang on, let me note this down and then I'll have a look. So we've got some water springs down here and then there's some lava and then up to the next one up there hot springs that doesn't seem right I think this one maybe yeah, here. I think that's it. But we'll go back to um, Goron City and actually talk to them. If it's too few, we can do 20. No, 10's fine. Especially, I've got a bit of a headache, so... I don't know if it'll hurt my head or not. Anthony, welcome in. Thank you for the hydrate that I get hangry and the stretch.
Thank you, thank you. <sighs> Exercise has always had a stock. JS literally just redeemed it. Like, you missed it by a little bit. A little bit. Um, all right. I'm going to do the exercise. I will leave you guys with Sleepy Agatha. Uh, I'm not going to pause the game because Mifa's grace is reloading. So I don't... I won't do that. <sighs> We're just going to let it reload. And you can hear the lava and... Lavery and fiery sounds. Literal seconds, right, Trial? It was like actual seconds. Okay. Okay, all right. Also, by the way, I put, um, I put the chat on this screen as well. Because I have it on my other ones now, too. Um, all right. I can hear Kieran listening to something very loud. I think he's watching Seinfeld. I'm going to close my door and then do the push-ups. Eight, nine, ten. My arms are not used to that. The hair on my face. Oh, All right. Thank you, JS. He was your own cat. Yeah, being a house cat would be a very, be a very nice life, I think. <laughs> you did 20, JS? Good job. All right, I'm just gonna put my headset back on. Oh. And you guys probably heard it, but I didn't. But I see Mifa's grace uh, reset. <sighs> Each time you get the redeem, you should double the number from the previous one. <laughs> no, if I had to do that, I would just like get rid of it eventually. Because like, I don't want it to, like, I don't want to feel like, I don't want to do it. I've got to like ease into exercise. <laughs> I don't like, I don't like exercising at all. And some of the ex only exercise I get is on stream, so. <sighs> True, but I can watch. You mean like watching cats? <laughs> it builds muscle, it does, it does. But like once I I find once I, like, you know, 10 push-ups is, like, a lot for me. Once 10 push-ups becomes, like, not necessarily easy, but, like, you know, quite, like, not very difficult, then I'd up it to, like, 15. And then 20. But then I also don't want my streams to become, like, an exercise stream. <laughs> I don't want it to interrupt the stream, like, the gaming too much either. All right, let's see if we can go talk to Unobo and... Was it the chief, the other guy? <gasps> the lady is here. There she is. I don't know if I have what I need to sell her, but... I don't know if I've got ten diamonds. No, I don't. <laughs> I 
I don't. Oh, we do need to talk to Bluto. It's another Scorcher today. I'm... I don't know what voice I gave him. Do you need something? Um... I don't know if I have to talk to them. I don't feel like I ha I don't think I need to. Like, I think it might help a little bit, but I don't feel like it's necessary. Alright, so I think for all of these, going up to the top of Death Mountain is going to be easier. Because <laughs> then I can just, like, glide to where I need to go. So I'm going to travel here. Wait, there's a double for me then, too? 40 push-ups next claim. <laughs> Gym stream? No. No. Okay. I was like, is this going to be the rings one? Yeah, it is. Yeah, it is. All right, before we go in here, let's make a save point in case we fail and have to do it again. Because I was like, I have a feeling I'm going to have to climb, but good thing we have a shit ton of stamina. Oh wow, you're down there. Of course we're like racing around the um... Oh! We're not racing around. I don't want to go too far. We're racing around and then down. Whee! I was like, do I need to get stamina back? Not really. Not really. This one's fun. <gasps> the last one! Here we go. I was like, is it going to land on that bit of ground that I can see? I mean, JS, if you want to double the next one, you're welcome to do that. I'm not going to, but you're welcome to do it. <laughs> Wait, what just really cool down? Intently. Might be gone for dinner um, by then. If I double, then you do as well. Nope. Nope, you guys- look, I make the rules here. You guys don't make the rules. <laughs> I make the rules for my stream. As much as you guys try to make the rules yourself. Mm. Mm. Blind spots. Uh-oh. Can the fire hurt me if I'm wearing this though? Probably. Okay, so this side, we're good. And then the next one we want to like crawl around. But wait. I could probably climb up, you know, but. Oh, shit. It's fine. It's fine. Of course we've got spikes to deal with next. <laughs> Trial, you're enforcing the rules. Who needs a bop? <laughs> I'm also keeping an eye out for chests because I'm like, what if a chest is in like a blind spot? <sighs> Okay. 
I was like, what's gonna happen here? Hmm. You know what I have? You know what I have? Fuck. It's fine. I want to get those. Oh, there's no pieces here. Great. Come here. They didn't drop anything? Okay. It's quite a big shrine, this one. How is your stamina draining so slowly in that heavy armor? Don't know, but I'm glad that it is uh, not draining quickly. All right, we have some water coming up, so I have a feeling we're gonna need this one, perhaps. see that chest all right we're gonna jump to this and then do it so you gonna stay you gonna stay 47 <gasps> no! Fuck. I didn't mean to do that. Oh, I was like, please don't take me back to the fucking start. We're not, we're at the start of this puzzle, but oof. Exercise builds stamina, that's true. Come on. I'll grab the next one. We went for a splish splash. Yeah, we just wanted a little swim. That's exactly it. Well, I got the chest. Now, I think what I'm going to have to do is I can climb over this side. And then we glide over. Like that. And we do a little climb climb over here too. this. Uh, thank you for the follow. Welcome in. We made it. I didn't... I was like, wait. We didn't see any chests, but we got that chest that was falling. Um, someone tried to wear weighted clothes. He barely lasted a day or maybe less. Wait, what was that for, Anthony? Oh yeah, Emma, I finally got an orange cat in my cat, cat game and named her Agatha. Oh, very good. <laughs> very, very good. Uh, sweet face Faggy, welcome in. How you doing? Do you know Trial by any chance? All right, there we go. First one of the three done. We have two more to go. You do, Trial is amazing, I agree. Your resourcefulness in overcoming this trial speaks to the promise of a hero. In the name of the goddess Hylia, I bestow upon you this gift, Rudania's, Rudania's emblem. I say Rudania, but I think it's Rudania. Uh, trial. Trial, thank you for gifting a sub to Fergie. Fergie, enjoy your sub badge, your remotes, and your ad-free viewing. 
thank you, trial. <laughs> Butty. <sighs> Someone mentioned a Dragon Ball. Oh, character who wore weighted clothing. Right, right, right. I know, like, you can legitimately get, like, clothing that's weighted and, like, I'm, I'm sure people use it to, like, work out and stuff. I feel like that's a thing. I don't know if this is something that's common in America. So in Australia, it's very common, you know, for kids to learn how to swim. Obviously, we have a lot of beaches and stuff here. Swimming is a big thing in Australia. So like most kids will learn how to swim. Um, when I was in high school, we had like additional like swimming classes, which honestly, I <laughs> did not like them. Um, I did not like them, but we had like a, it was like a, like what, not a test, but we had to like do something and complete this thing. And then we like would pass. And one, one part of it was actually swimming. Um, we had to swim and like do like a certain amount of laps or whatever, wearing clothes. Obviously, like, in an emergency situation, like, you might have to deal with that. Um, so we had to do, like, this thing. We had to swim with clothes on. Just, like, normal, not, not swimmers, but just, like, normal clo clothing. And with, like, shoes and stuff. Um, and I remember I actually missed a bunch of, like, the swimming classes because I didn't like it. But I ended up doing, like, the the exam thingy. It wasn't really an exam. I don't know what you'd call it. It was like something to pass, but I did that and I did and I passed. I did fine. Is that something that you guys do like in the US or like Canada or elsewhere in the world? I don't know if it's just because like in Australia, like swimming is such a common popular thing to do. That's why we have it here. I don't know. All right, Emma, wear weighted clothes for the next stream. I don't want to wear weighted clothes. <laughs> no. Not a smart thing to do. You can get injured by wearing too heavy clothing. Yeah. I, I mean, I think people have, like, wear it because, like, if they're training and, like, for a specific purpose, you know. Not, like, just, like, everyday clothing. JS, you did swimming for a year, I think, when I was around 10, but I didn't really get into it. You liked ice skating more. Yeah, it's pretty big here for kids to learn ice skating with how popular hockey is. Yeah. I was going to say, you're in Canada. Like, <laughs> that makes sense. All right, they're not gonna let me touch the divine beast. <laughs> so we need to like glide around. Oh, I don't wanna go like in its, too close to its front there. Wait, where am I going? Not that way, wrong way, Emma, wrong way. Link, come on. Where is it? You love my hair? Thank you, Fergie. Thank you. It was funny. So yesterday I wore a blonde wig on stream because you guys unlocked that. <laughs> it felt weird. I normally have like this bright red hair. This is like my usual one. Oh? That's it right there, but I don't know what to do here. Um, we're going to do a save. I don't know if I just go into the lava or if I'm going to die. <laughs> it kind of looks like the one that we didn't into the water. So we're going to save. Swimming lessons are totally up to the parents. We are landlocked in Alberta, though. I was going to I mean, like, there's obviously areas in Australia where you don't have access to the beach. But, you know, most of the um, populated areas in Australia are along the coastlines. Um, and even, even if you're not near a beach, Australia gets really hot. So swimming, you know, swimming pools are, you know, very common, that kind of thing. 
Uh, your mum made me get swimming lessons. I grew up in a town known for its rivers. Yeah, yeah. Like, swimming lessons aren't, like, enforced here, but most kids will learn when they're really young. You know, it's good to learn, and especially safety-wise, because swimming is such a common thing here. Swimming class isn't that common as a class in school, but it's a thing for, like, teams, and you get classes like that at the local gym, yeah. Too many Canadians here. <laughs> I've heard of Ontario and I think I've heard of Calgary, Alberta as well. There's nothing wrong with dying in lava. Arnold did it for the greater good. <laughs> Just remember to thumbs up on your way down. Okay. <laughs> uh, we saved and wait. Let's just let's just go for it. I think I have to just dive into the lava. I don't know what else to do. Unless... I meant to put a boulder in here. Wait, 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 we got this, we got this. Climb, Link, climb. Is this a Korok? It's gotta be a Korok. Ontario and Alberta are provinces of Canada. Is a province like a state? Because I don't think we have provinces here. Oh, maybe I gotta go talk to those guys. Yeah, let's go talk to them before we jump into the lava. Actually, what if I hit you with an icy weapon? Hehe. <laughs> um, there is no such thing as too many people for a nationality especially on twitch yeah similar to states yeah hey john i welcome in poor little korok <laughs> same idea province equals state yeah i was gonna I was like we don't have provinces here canada's version of a state yep yep all right <sighs> let's see what these guys say Pump it, brother. Do you know why Champion Daruk chose this place to train, brother? Neither do we. But us Goron Blood Brothers are going to find out by completing the training ourselves. I'm sure this is some part of Lord Daruk's secret Goron champ training. Intense. We're going to do all we can to be mighty Gorons just like Lord Daruk. It's the only possible path for the Goron Blood Brothers. Feel the burn, brother. You see that glowing ring in the lava? Think of it as a target and stand on the lava, brother. So sweaty, brother. Even Gorons can't walk on lava. I wonder if Lord Daruk really did this training. Not that I doubt him, brother. No wonder Lord Daruk chose this spot. It's hardcore, brother. This training is going to be rough. I can always taste the gains. Time to strategize, brothers. All right. I did see there is a block over here. And I think maybe we put that in the circle and then we can, like, land on it. Feel the burn, brother. <gasps> There's more than one block. Wait. Wait. You know what? You know what I'm going to do? I'm going to land here. Kind of hard to see where I'm aiming. That looks pretty good. I'm going to save just in case. 
But we are going to use just this because it's easier. I think this will be alright. It's not quite in the middle, but... Done. So I'm glad I didn't just dive into the lava. Because I probably would have done it, but then died right afterwards. Thank you for the hydrate matrix. Oh fuck. No, let's, let's jump. Good that we had one more of them left. <laughs> what do these guys say now? The glowing ring is gone. Now I don't have to do that crazy training. Thank goodness. Oh, okay. Also, funny thing about my school, I had to learn about basically all about Canada, including the capitals, etc. Right. I don't know if that's because I'm a few hours from the border or what uh, some schools have a complete class dedicated to it. Yeah, right. Huh. Interesting. Yeah, I wonder if it is because you're close or it's just a standard thing. Alright, this is our second last DLC shrine. We'll have one more to do. Block the blaze. Alright, this is like another shrine that we had, I think. But I don't think we need to block this one. I think we can just crouch underneath it. Yep. Trial, you remember we had to line up and our teacher would tell us a random state and we had to say the capital in order to go to recess. Oh. Like, you should just better go to recess because every kid deserves recess. You failed every time. Also, the pressure of, like, answering probably didn't help. I was like, okay, where's where's this block finally going to be? Huh. Nice. Hmm. I was like, where are the... Uh Oh, oh, I didn't have to duck underneath that. I didn't need to duck underneath it. I mean, you can though, so like, why not? You're gonna go get groceries soon. Did you want me to bring you a snack before I go? It might be a bit before I'm back with bread for sandwich. Um, yeah, a snack might be good because it is almost one o'clock. Please and thank you. Can I climb this? Nintendo is slacking on that one, <laughs> yeah. Like, I, and I only realized it because I lowered that one, then I was like, wait, can I, is there any others? And I was like, oh. Okay, well, for this one, I think we can just... Do this, right? Yeah. Uh, I think I'm going to need to bring it with me, although there's another one here. Let's bring this one. This is only in sixth grade. I got the shorter version of it because my school at the time was in transition from 
moving all sixth graders to the middle school, but by the time you got to high school, I was in a different district of the middle school who was taught the class version. Yeah, right. That works. That works. Cool. Okay. Ah, <gasps> it's a chest. We need to get the chest. We need to get the chest. Okay. Easy. You gotta love moving. I, um... I moved a couple of times as an adult, but thankfully... I never had to move when I was younger at school. Okay. I think I'm going to need these again. Oh, wait. No, we can't bring them in. What if... Hmm. Maybe not. Other, like, the only reason that there is probably so that I cannot... Oh, I can put them over. I think. Silly me. What am I trying to do? Put them putting them underneath. I guess that they're trying to trick you with that. Just in case I need them. I don't know if I do. Oh. Oh. You love when Emma overthinks things. <laughs> I do it a lot too. I like think it's way more difficult than it actually is and then it's like, oh. Oh, okay. All right, what do I what am I doing here? What do we got? I don't know if I need these here, but I feel like that'll help. Yeah. To me, moving as a kid is easier than as an adult, really. I guess, like, you probably got less stuff and, you know, less responsibility <laughs> as well. Will I make this? This isn't looking too good. This is not looking too good. What have I done? I don't know, trial. I'm stuck, I think. I don't think there's any way of saving this. <sighs> oh, thank you for the snack. I'm guessing I don't have any chocolate ones because I forgot to put one in. Did you put some in? Could you? Maybe. Thank you. That's fine. I can shake it more. Kieran just likes shaking these because they sound... Like that. I normally... So this is the vanilla one. I normally go for the chocolate ones. I prefer the chocolate. But the vanilla's okay. Uh, I don't think I can get out of this.
Actually, wait. Wait, 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 wait. Wait. I think I might be able to save myself. I think I can save myself. Maybe not. Maybe not. <sighs> Alex, hello Alex, how you doing? Also, I don't know if I said this, JS will be gone, but JS says that they'll be back later. No worries, JS. Thank you for the don't get hangry. Alex Sky Butka. <laughs> And we were just talking about the overthinking part. Yeah. Look, I'm trying to make it work. I know, like, there's probably an easy way to do this, but I'm just like, you know what? I'm going to try and make this work and we'll see. What are you trying to do? I'm trying to, trying to get over there. But there's fire down here. And these blocks don't fit in there. But I'm surrounded by fire. Can I just jump? Link cannot drop that high. See, but the blocks are blocking more fire. Wait. Is that because I have the ice sword on? How am I fireproof? Okay, well. Or maybe, is it this set that just like protects you from fire? Cause I, I've, I don't think I would like, I figured the bonus would mean that I can survive in Death Mountain at certain, like, areas. I didn't think I was, like, fully, like, fireproof. Okay, well, that changes. That changes a lot. I'm just literally fireproof. Look, it does say fireproof. <laughs> I guess because I upgraded it. Well, I don't got to worry about the fire then. We don't got to worry about the fire. Why am I doing this the hard way? Okay. <laughs> 
There we go. To be fair, I didn't realize that I was actually fireproof. All right, we got one more emblem to go. my final trial. Is this the last time trial can be here? All right. Okay, that's done. We can get rid of this one too. So this one over here, which... <sighs> we, don't have it. we don't have anything nearby. And I think this one might be the, the stone talus. I have any good weapons for a stone talus though that is the question oh when did I wait no that's the rooks this one isn't so I could use this that'd be good or the ancient battle axe would be fine <sighs> I'm afraid so it's nice knowing nice knowing you two trial <laughs> I just gotta play more games that have trials in them. Or I guess you could say every game has a trial in it. Don't leave us, trial. Okay, uh, we need to go in the complete opposite direction. I think it might be easier to just like jump around the side. You're afraid of Alex? Why are you afraid of Alex? Alex is lovely. That's right, so you're always allowed here, aren't you? You guys excited for like the new music we're gonna hear in Tears of the Kingdom? New music. All right, we can probably jump off now. Wait, that's not it. That's a different one, but we could make that from here but no don't do it or I could go and activate it it's fine we can come back for it we're gonna get a shrine over here anyway new music but will there be music this time I wonder if we will get actual like you know music playing all the time like do 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 <laughs> I don't mind the more subtle music in this game though cuz I feel like very prominent loud music all the time in such a massive game would might get too much Like some more, some more like catchy tunes would have been good. Although this this game gave us a lot of good ones, like the champion songs, um, Cass's song, you know, more stuff like that. If I was truly afraid, they wouldn't be a mod for me. <laughs> Alex is a good person. You never fear that. Yeah, I figured you were joking. You like the other Zelda's music more than this game's? Yeah, yeah, I, I think so. I agree as well. Trial. Give me the catchies, yeah. Yep. 
We'll see. We will see. Yeah, when I think of like, you know, Zelda games with great music, this is not one that I think of. It's like, you know, Ocarina of Time. That's the main one. Okay, so I think we've got to fight something here. I have a feeling it might be a stone talus, but I can actually see if it is. I don't have a photo of them yet, maybe. Or is it? I knew it was around here. I might have the wrong location noted down. We will see. There's two flames there. Maybe I'm in the right spot. <gasps> I don't mean to do that. No, that works. That worked. Is that it over there, maybe? <gasps> Igneo Talus Titan. That is it. It is in the lava. Okay. Weirdly enough, I think Spirit Tracks had one of the most well-rounded OSTs in the Zelda series. You know, I never finished Spirit Tracks. I have it. I have it. I just... So there was a part that stressed me out that stopped me from playing it, which is a common theme with games for me. Um, there was a part where you're on the train and there's other, like, other trains on the track that are, like, I think they were, like, bombs or something and they chased you and you had to, like, find a way through and it stressed me out and I never got past that area. I don't know how far that is into the game or if that happens multiple times, but... I don't remember liking the music in the game, though. The theme song was, like, good. Every track was just really on point. Actually, I have... So I bought Spirit Tracks on the Wii U if I wanted to stream it um, or just play it on like a bigger screen because I, I have it on my DS, but I actually have it on the on the Wii U now. So I could stream it if I wanted to. Um, yeah. And actually finish it. When I think of music from games, I think you think of Halo's music. Hey Celestial, how you doing? Spirit Tracks goes hard and was your first Legend of Zelda game. Really nice. The music is so good. You only played through the DS Zelda once. Not my favourite starter control link. I finished Phantom Hourglass. I finished that one. Alright, the game just saved, but I might do a hard save as well. Ugh. <sighs> I'm hoping this guy, like, comes over here, because, like... Or maybe I have to use ice on him. Because he's going to be, like, all lavery. And ice arrows. What if we just... Does that do nothing? That does okay, so he doesn't he doesn't stay lavery the entire time. That's good. No, not this one, not this one. This one. Come here. Come over here, please. I mean I could bomb the, the thingy too if I wanted to. Come out of the lava, please. It's a Dark Souls boss, yeah. <laughs> it's like, um... Is it a centipede thingy that's in the lava? I forget what it's called. Ryan! Hello, Ryan. How you doing? You remember this scene from Gartic Phone? Wait. Which one? That's what, exactly what you're thinking, yeah. Okay, he's not, he's not coming over here. Oh, I think I can, 
Is it gonna let me glide? <gasps> it's gonna let me glide. We're... Oh wait, no, no, no fucking bomb arrows. <laughs> Forget that that kills me. Well, yeah, that was a terrible idea. I shouldn't have done that. I should not have done that. Love it. Love it. Love it. Look, I'm gonna just rely on Mipha's grace here. Kieran, you've got to make a new emote, remember? Or ceaseless discharge. Yeah, yeah. Oh, Link, Link having the high ground. Yeah, in the lava. <laughs> yes, yes, I remember that now. You also like Assassin's Creed music, uh, Anthony, nice. Or the roughly even ground. <laughs> okay, so I'm gonna try to land on this guy once he throws both of the boulders. I'm fine back here. And then we go. Okay, does that, does this hurt me? Okay. At least I can like glide, all right. I see what we're gonna do here. Oh, did he like try to punch me? Okay, once I'm on, on top, this isn't so bad. No, it's fine. It's fine, it's fine, it's fine. I was like, I almost missed it. <gasps> Not into the lava. <laughs> there we go. There we go. Oh, I'm not gonna get... I wonder if we're not gonna get any gems from this guy, are we? Because it's gonna land into the... Lava. Oh my god, he's moving all over the place. No wonder, I mean, I'm trying to kill him, so... Go! Whee! There we go. Done. First try. Easy. Yeah, you can't really get that guy from a distance. You kind of have to just... Go right in. You watched uh, The Ring and The Grudge over the weekend. The Ring was fun, but The Grudge was a bit meh. Oh, really? Which, um, was it the American Grudge that you watched? Uh, the Ring? So I watched that for the first time only, like, well, like two years ago, I think. Um, the American one. And I thought it was going to be really scary. <laughs> but it was just like, it just wasn't. It was kind of funny. Haven't seen The Grudge though. I haven't seen any of The Grudges, but I'm, I kind of don't want to because they look scary. You like The Grudge, Faye? I wonder if the American, sorry, if, I wonder if the, is it, is the original ring or another ring, is it Japanese? And is the, I'm not sure where exactly the others were made. Moving targets. The ring scared you as a kid, Anthony. I probably, would, I probably would have been scared if I watched it when it came out when I was younger. Definitely. Uh, hey, Stony, hello. Which is the one where the girl crossed out the TV? That's the the ring. The the other ring is is Japanese. Yeah, okay, cool. I thought so, but I was like, I don't know if I'm getting that right. Japan Juon versus The Grudge. Yeah. Uh, oh, I can change the dir Oh, okay. I see what I, what I gotta do here. Do I have any, like... Yeah, this one will do. That'll do. And then we hit this. 
Okay. Oh, that... I was like, it's a little off, but it still worked. <gasps> the chest over there. Hee <laughs> hee, this is fun. They're both US adaptations of Asian cinema. Yeah, yeah. I figured that. I just wasn't exactly sure um, where in Asia. I was like, I, th I thought it was Japanese, but I wasn't, it wasn't completely sure on that. The Japanese versions are better, I think, for both The Ring and The Garage. Yeah, that's what I've heard. The Ring was more just a mystery thriller than a horror. It was funny because, like, when Kieran watched it, when like I think when it was at the cinemas, he he was like scared from it, um, and so like he kind of refused to watch it since then. And then recent, like a couple of years ago, I was and I was like I refused to watch it because he kept saying it was like scary. So I was like I don't want to watch it if you think it's scary. Um, but then we finally watched it, and I was like, and he was like, oh that wasn't scary, and I was like yeah that wasn't scary, <laughs> but I think it would have been more scary had I watched it in like you know like when it when it came out in like the early 2000s was that it I think all right I'm gonna see if I can get the chest first oh, look at that <laughs> that was a really good aim does that ball just stay there though do I get I get another ball all right no it disappears how do I get that then Hmm. I was like, surely there's got to be a way. It's the sequels that were rough then. Right, rough. For then the US ones? Oh, another diamond. You think they did a good job with the American adaptations, right? You like them equally to the Japanese ones. If you can, watch the original Bangkok Dangerous. It's way better than the American Nick Cage one and you love Nick Cage. I don't think I know that one, that movie at all. You saw the ring in the theater knowing nothing about it and it scared me a ton. I think as well, just like, you know, the technology that we had back then it's very much like of its time. Obviously that's kind of changed now. So I was just like, eh, I don't find it scary. <laughs> but I was like, I can, I can see like watching when it came out, it would have been scarier. Okay. All right. So this one is moving, which is great. That was, Oof, that was close, actually. I think maybe I, got, I should wait for it to go down the bottom. Oh, wait, no. Back to the middle? Go back to the middle. It should stop for a bit, right? Damn it. Oh, wait, no, we got it. Bunny! Hello Bunny, how you doing? Alright, I think we've got everything. That's it. Done. Are there any secrets down here? Not that I can see. Personally, you think CGI made certain franchises worse? Yeah, I can see that. Not a happy camper today, I'm afraid. Oh, I'm sorry to hear that. I hope your day gets better. Right. There's more. <laughs> I was like, uh, excuse me? There's more. Uh, oh, oh. Oh, 
looks all right. That looks all right. That'll do. I think. And then we gotta change it so we can go through to that one. I figured there'd be more to it. Um, it was also tropes of the time being different to now. It was easy to expect watching a horror movie when the ring came out that if you help the ghost creature, whatever, it won't hurt you. But the ring had that moment of you weren't supposed to help her. Yeah, yeah. All right, so... I think like this is going to be best. That might work. Maybe. <gasps> Perfect. First try. There we go. Such a pro gamer. The roomy drama is finally getting to you. You're having nightmares. Oh, I'm sorry to hear that. It sucks. Um, I saw you guys talking about Waterworld. I've never seen that. I don't know what it is. That was our last one, which means we do have to fight. The, the, like fire blight Ganon, I forget what his name is. Kevin Costner, decent movie. Bunny, you're starting to feel like the house is feeling less <gasps> and less homey. Yeah, I mean like, you know, you have, Things have changed for you. I know you guys are looking at a trial period about it now as well, but like even just having someone else use your bathroom adds to it. And it's just like, ugh. It's annoying that their issues have to affect you, you know? <sighs> hopefully, hopefully things change for the better for you though. And it gets better. You only saw it for the first time last year and it was a bit dated, but sort of fun at the same time. Okay. What, like, what genre does it fit under? Would you guys say? Cool. That was very, that seemed like it was very quick. Um, good. I'm glad we have all three Obosa's Fury. <laughs> um... We have two of Daruk, so I think we get three of them total, but eh. Obosa's Fury is what I really want, because we would just, like, power through. Um, so we do have to go back to the Divine Beast. I am running a little on food, so what I might quickly do is let's duck over to here. We will get some durians. Do a little bit of cooking. And and then go do it. That's the least of your concerns. The point is the constant showing up of people. There's still more. How, how does someone have that many people over? Like, I actually don't understand. <laughs> I don't. Like, even someone that's, like, extroverted. It sounds like it's, like, a constant thing, Bunny. I'm like, how do you. That would be that would be so annoying. I think that'd probably be the most annoying thing for me as well if I was in that situation. Like, it would just yeah. Thankfully, we've never like when Kieran and I 
had roommates before we officially moved in together. It was like his place, but then I like partially lived there and he had roommates. Thankfully, they never they were never the kind that had like constantly had people like showing up, you know. It's post apocalyptic sci fi. Mad Max on the water. I actually haven't seen Mad Max either. <laughs> But I have a vague idea of, like, what Mad Max is. You would let Obosa do unspeakable things to you. She's, she's pretty awesome. It gets worse. The hookup now has <laughs> a fucking sewing machine in our garage. Is it just a hookup? I feel like that's at, like, an, a new, another stage now. Like, that's not just, like, what... You do for a hookup. Okay. Well, that sounds annoying. Especially if it's like noisy and taking up space. Uh, let's put on this because I don't want them messing with me. Although I could like easily kill them. You know what? Let's just bop them. Cause I can like two shot them. They don't need to bug me anymore anyway. Okay. Durians. Oh, let's chop down some trees while we're here. Because we will need wood for Tarrytown when I eventually, if I do it. I'd like to. Tarrytown's fun. I swear there was another one. There it is. The game does not like this area. Okay, you guys are going to need a little more... Wait, is my bow okay? No, it's not. Bloody rain. Um, who knows? All I know is that my irritation is either growing or remaining and not going away. Yeah, a group of people showed up for Magic the Gathering with minimal heads up to, so I'm like, great. Ugh. I bowed out of yesterday's D&D game after about an hour because I just did not have the energy to even pretend to give a fuck. Yeah. Oh, bunny. I know that gays and hosting can be like D&D and scheduling, but come on. <laughs> did anyone see the guy who 100% breath hard without jumping? I didn't. Huh. You can actually go get groceries. Yes. Okay, very good. Well, we're just going to, you know, can I chop down the trees with this? <laughs> Not really, no. <laughs> we're going to need this one. I don't need the tree branch. Why did I pick that up? Because I thought it was a durian. There, I swear there was another durian here. I know. I'll take the cricket, I guess. Haven't seen Emma jump yet while playing. She's been sitting the whole time. Tree, you do. 
I like that this spot is like right near the um the tower. We get a decent amount if I cut down every single tree. We got some rice. <laughs> Faye, thank you for the exercise. <laughs> jumping jacks. Okay, hang on. I kind of need to pee as well, so jumping jacks isn't going to be very nice, but fine. I didn't cut this one down. That was the lightning. A roasted hearty dream. Because it was hit by lightning, but then I can't cook it. Some more rice. Faye's like, I'm going to change that. Yeah. All right. Uh, let's go and cook what we just got. Hopefully it's not raining over here. I should probably go pee first. That's very true. <laughs> we call them star jumps. Yeah. I don't know if that's because we're more fancy or just simple. I mean, when like you look like a, st it's like the star shape when your arms and legs are out like that. So I feel like it's just like, it's accurate for what it looks like. Oh no, Anthony missed it. <laughs> Anthony is eventually going to get the exercise redemption at some point. Okay, um, I don't know how many durians I need to cook now. Excuse me, where is the cooking pot? There it is. Um, because I've got more hearts, so if I... How much does cooking three give me? And then I'll we'll do the exercise and all of that shortly. How many does two give me? Because the more hearts I get, the less I need to cook. Plus eight. Mm, so still three. Still three is the best. That's fine. JS isn't here. That is true. Because it's plus 12 and that's... Actually, the 12 give me, gives me exactly what I need. So I'm not actually wasting anything. Not that I'm like, if I wasted a, a little bit, I wouldn't mind too much. But that is nice. So I will cook maybe like one more, just so we have a couple of dur like durians on hand, I guess. I don't know what else I need them for. But there we go. Look at that. So we will eat one of these before the fight. Because that stays and they give you like shit all food. Uh, they're going to change my clothing, but I'm going to change it back. Actually, we need to keep our fire ones on anyway. And look, we'll probably keep that on for the fight. I'm trying to remember what... um. This Ganon it does again. I think he throws fireballs at you at some point. But if I need to get close, like I think he does, like kind of land near you. Ned Helly Calmet. Cal Ned? Did I say Ned Helly Calmet? Or Ned Kelly? I, I didn't say that right the first time. Ned Kelly Helmet, yes. Does anyone here watch RT games? I do not. All right. Uh, a tongue twister. Yes. I will take a little break because I do need to go to the bathroom. <laughs> and if I'm doing jumping jacks, I will do them when I get back. Um, so 
And I've been up for like, what, three and a half hours now anyway, so it's probably a good time to do that. I might have some more of my drink too, because my food is not here yet. Um, so it's break time. If you guys need to take a break, get up and stretch, go to the bathroom, get some water, make sure you stay hydrated, get some food if you're hungry. Um, now's a good time to do it. I'll leave you guys with some clips and I'll run some ads as well. But if you've seen the ads, don't worry, you're not missing anything. It's just while I'm on my break. So I will be back soon. Uh, when he was playing Hollow Knight, he almost first tried Pantheon of Hallow Nest. I forget which, which that one was. Which one was Pantheon of Hallow Nest? Take meds if you need them. Yes, yes. <gasps> Tex, hello. <laughs> I do need to take my break. Sorry. <laughs> I will be back soon. I'll be back soon. Oh, every boss in the game back to back. Holy shit. Wow. Wow. All right. All right. I'll be back soon. We might need to cooperate so we don't, like, fall off. No. <laughs> no cooperation needed. Oh, that's a butt shot there. <laughs> oh, fucking hell. <laughs> <laughs> I did the thing again. <laughs> I was watching I was your like... stream. <laughs> I wanted to get the guy off. That no, I did not mean to say that. <laughs> I wanted to get the guy off the thing that was shooting arrows at me. Oh damn it! I know, Fee. Shut the fuck up. <gasps> what the fuck? Yes. Whew, first try. It's over there, is it? Oh. It's up here, it's up here, it's up here. Did you see how close my health was? We really are just like finding drugs on the floor and we're like, you know what, let's take it. dead. I thought I was dead. <laughs> oh fuck. Second try. This is the thing that I usually do when Emma and I play games together. Don't! <laughs> oh shit! <gasps> oh my god! Awesome! Oh shit! Suddenly, why was it suddenly able to actually get me there? That was hilarious. Aviva Pinata, yes, please. I um, I've only played the tiniest bit of that a couple of years ago, and I. Ah! Fuck no! <laughs> shit, 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 shit! I could hear zombies. Ah! I apologize for the scream. I was not planning to do that. <laughs> No, fuck off, you bitch.
if you play online, you can hear the bell ring from time to time, which is players ringing the bell in their own game. Oh, really? Oh, that's really cool. Um, okay, we got a lot of souls, so I'm a tad worried. <gasps> oh, fucking hell. Oh, my God. <laughs> Set it with the X button. Okay, I'm assuming that's... No. X. Oh, uh, no, what the fuck? Ah! Oh, fuck. <laughs> it's a big alien thing. I know, I've literally just got two fish. I'm gonna go try and get water. I know, game, I'm trying to go cook it. <gasps> nope, the cheese. Oh, look at that, my water's full again. Maybe it's just better to just die to get that back. All right, I'm back. I'm gonna go do the jumping jacks, or as I call them, star jumps. You guys can see the baby while I do that. She's probably gonna watch me. Let's see. I'm gonna do like, I don't know, 10, 15. One, two. Seven, eight, nine, ten, one, two, seven, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. She doesn't care. Woo. Like, you could see my shadow. She's just like, asleep. <laughs> it was just raising her arms. I don't know, maybe. No, I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna do it. I wouldn't lie to you guys. <sighs> You've never heard star jumps before. You like it more? I mean, it's like, I guess it's cause like you look like a star when you do it. Like why are they called jumping jacks? Obviously there's a jumping part. Is it because it like, is a jack a, a thing that you use in like a, a game? Does it look like a jack? I don't know. I don't know. Anyway, it's boss time. It's boss time. I think we're ready. I think so. I think jacks that you play with have a similar shape, maybe. That's what I would, that's the only thing that I could think of as well. I was like, maybe that's what they where the name came from. <sighs> Alright. I think I think we're ready. I think so. We got. I know that I like. I'm not gonna be able to use the food in this fight, but we we made it. We've eaten food already. Um. Oh, I need one more shrine, and then we can get another heart as well. But star jumps, yeah, it's very Mario Galaxy. <gasps> yeah, Mario Galaxy's fun. John P. Pershing popularized the jumping jack exercise. The origin of... Wait. Something's on fire. <laughs> um, we're good now. The origin of the name of this exercise can be traced to wooden toys shaped like people, usually soldiers or jesters, that splayed their arms and legs when a string or uh, stick was pulled. Yeah, yeah. Sorry, yeah, I don't know. That's okay. That's fine. Where's Cass? Maybe he's on the other side? He's not over here. I'm probably not going to use Revali's Gale. 
in the fight. So I don't mind using that now if I have to. Like, it definitely wants me here. Unless I... No, I just get close to it. Okay. Maybe Cass isn't here. I forget. Yeah. To the one who approaches this divine beast, in the name of the goddess highly I offer this trial. In exchange for Rudania's emblems, you will be granted the chance to tread through the realm of memories. Those who lack determination will find this trial unforgiving. Do not take this place lightly, nor dismiss it as merely a world within your mind. The truth is much deeper than you know. I should actually check my um, photos to make sure that I got photos of all of the... Ganons. Suddenly, hello, how you doing? And Chris, welcome in. Hello, hello. Oh. This illusory realm was created from the depths of your memories. The enemy you shall face is a product of the fear that dwells within. You must overcome this fear to proceed. Mm hmm. This battle is a trial of the soul. You must emerge victorious using only the tools provided. Yeah, we'll um, we'll check our photo album. I think I got photos of all of them except for the first one. Light Ganon. Okay. Album. Hyrule Compendium. Monsters. Is he on the monsters screen? Oh wait, we've got Thunder Blight, Fire Blight, Water Blight, and Wind Blight. I think that is all of them. That's that's Pink Lemonade, that's the only Blight Ganons we have to take photos of you. <sighs> you saw a terrible rumor that some Resident Evil Nemesis was played and I wasn't around to see it. Yeah, I played some yesterday. <laughs> At the moment I'm playing that on Sundays. Um, we got up to the clock tower. I need to redo some stuff before the clock tower because I wasn't happy with it. Um, but I did, I did get up to the clock tower and I'm like, yes, a new area. Like a fancy building. That's one of my favorite kind of locations in Resident Evil, so. I'm excited to get back to that on the weekend. But yeah, is that is that the only four that we have to take photos of? Obviously, I think you can take one of, like, Calamity Ganon. Um... I wonder if the last two photos are the different forms of Calamity Ganon, actually. Ah, very good on Sundays, so a higher chance to catch it, yeah. <laughs> There's only four blights, I believe. Mm, okay, yeah. Yeah, I mean, the plan is to play yeah, a different game on my Sundays. We'll see. It, it might change. I don't know. But I'm trying to keep it on like the same day every week at least. <sighs> okay. Um, what do we have? We've got Boulder Breaker. It's a pretty good weapon. Five Ice Arrows. Shit. Okay. No shield. A couple of meals. And that's about it. Okay. Oh wow, that was a lot of damage. You know what I'm gonna do? OK. 
Okay, phase two already. This is when I'm going to use the arrows if I need to. Because he's got his... That. I forget, wait, how do I break that again? Is it bombs? I think it is bombs, right? Yeah, it's like Dodongo. A Dodongo. Maybe I don't need to do anything else. Nope, not wasting that, not wasting that. Come on. Okay, fireball. That works. Oh, damn it, no. No, do the Dodongo thing. He didn't even get me. He didn't even get me. Oh, that was actually really easy. <laughs> I first tried all of these. We first tried every single DLC boss so far. So far. At least the blights. Also, thank you for the folly. Welcome in. My hair is awesome. Thank you, Hadal. Welcome, welcome. Oh, you finally finished the Resi 4 remake careers. It's so good. We have it. We got the PS5 version. I got it for my birthday. So I'm excited to play that eventually too. It's going well. It's going good. That's our last... Um, what's it called? Champions Ballad thingy. Are you still adrift in thought? You seem lost to the whims of your mind. Oh, pardon me. I suppose it's none of my business. Ah, wandering around here and listening to anecdotes about Champion de Rook has truly invigorated me. Mm. In fact, it has inspired me to honour him in my own way, separate from my teacher's unfinished song. That is why I felt inclined to roost here near the Divine Beast for Rudania, Rudania, which de Rook himself mastered. I've written a song to try and capture the essence of Champion de Rook. Recall Rudania's Champion of Flame. Before his fated moment finally came. This is the tale of Great de Rook's task. And the princess who came to ask. Princess. I'm the fearless Daruk after all. And if Hyrule needs my help, I'll gladly lay down my life. Thank you, Daruk. Not sure if it's Calamity Ganon's fault or what, but I hear monsters have been attacking people more than ever lately. Times like these, you shouldn't leave the castle without a horde of mighty Gorons to watch your back. You sound like father. He's assigning a knight to watch over me wherever I go. I hear the top contender is the most accomplished swordsman in all of Hyrule. Who? Huh? That could only be... Who? Huh? What the... They really are all over the place these days. Huh? Is someone being attacked? Cowards. Wait here, princess. stands a chance when fighting me the almighty Daru. he pronounced it kukos <laughs> oh. you 
you're safe. <gasps> oh, it's a puppy. <laughs> Seems our friend here was the one being attacked. <laughs> Precious boy, you saved his life. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> well. Good riddance. Stay safe. I'm sorry you had to see that side of me. As a kid, dogs always chased me. I still panic when I see one of those critters. I never imagined the great Daruk would have a weakness. So tell me, princess. Yes? Calamity Ganon isn't, uh, some kind of a dog monster, is he? <laughs> also, they, I usually say his name Daruk, but they pronounce it Daruk. Hmm. I suppose even champions are not immune to fear. So, what do you think of Champion Daruk's song? By writing a song that celebrates the softer side of Champion Daruk, I feel closer than ever to my dear teacher. Oh. The missing verses of an ancient song, I think the perfect setting would be Hyrule Castle in the distant past. I knew you could do it, little guy. Now you can use Daruk protection more than ever. <laughs> Wait. If you see that Ganon jerk, give him a message for me. Good riddance, bacon breath. So I can use it more times. This is less time to recharge. Yeah. It's not more times. I think it's still three. I am Maz Koshia. I must commend you for conquering the trial thus far. The door to the final trial is now open at the Shrine of Resurrection. Go and face your destiny. <gasps> Are we finally going to get the bike? Alright, I did miss a lot of chat there. <laughs> Daruk's protection is ready to roll. Mephis, Grace is ready. Yeah. Also, welcome back, JS. Um, once again, amazing integration of the dual sense in a Resident Evil game. I can't describe what it does except say that it makes everything feel super crunchy, right? Well, I'm glad we have it on um, PS5 then. How stoked am I to jump through roofs and get your green goo all over everything? <laughs> That's one way to say it. I'm very excited. It's less than two weeks now. It's like a week and a half. You finally pre-ordered Final Fantasy 16 JS. Oh, awesome. Nice. <laughs> Daruk's Sandstorm. <gasps> you also bought Near Replicant. It had a decent discount on a PlayStation Store. Awesome. We getting the bike tonight? Yep. Yeah. We're gonna do it. Did you get to pre-order? I did. So I ended up getting the, um, the Collector's Edition. Because I couldn't help it. Um... And I also decided to get the um, the Link Amiibo as well with it. So I'm very, very excited for that. How are we for health? Not bad. I think we can go right here. We can, we can go right here. So I do remember this part. I don't know if it's like... I don't remember if it's just a boss or there's like a shrine as well, but I guess we'll find out soon. No one needs to tell me. I'm just like, hmm, I don't remember. How did you do that? Here in the States, it was sold out as soon as it went live in California. Oh, really? I got it like 
like ages afterwards and I was like I should get that because it was saying like like getting close to being sold out or like running you know low stock um I guess we just had a lot in Australia to the brave soul who wishes to master a divine beast you have done well to return to this place of beginnings you have overcome many challenges thus far now allow me to bestow upon you one final trial Return the Sheikah Slate to the terminal you first obtained it from. Do so and the final passageway will reveal itself. Mm. You saved for it? Nice, nice. I like, I, I also got the collector's edition for Breath of the Wild, so I was like, I feel like I should get it for... Tears of the Kingdom. And also the stuff that you get with it looks pretty cool too. So it seems like worth it. <sighs> you pre-ordered from GameStop though. And if I get there early enough, I get a cool wooden plant. Oh, awesome. Nice. All right, all right. Let's change my clothing get some good defense in got my good shield I got my best bow I've got 60 arrows we've got decent enough decent amount of arrows weapons could do with having better weapons although we do have the master sword got this one um, I do have the stone smasher also this one's pretty good too the Great Flame Blade. So, we should be fine. You happy with the standard version? You have it too much crap. <laughs> Zelda's like one of the only series that I will get, like, yeah, like the collector's edition for, so. It's pretty rare for me to get them. Whenever you pre-order games these days, I pre-order digital since it lets me play right at midnight. Yeah, that there is a benefit to that. But like, I personally don't really want to play at midnight because I'm going to mess up my sleeping, you know, schedule anyway. And if I'm, I'm streaming it, so, and I start at like 10 a.m. So I don't want to mess that up either. <sighs> You unfortunately bought the ultimate edition of Diablo 4, then found out it's mostly cosmetic. Oh no. That's annoying. JS, you're a night now. I I know. <laughs> you're here very late a lot of the time. Uh so Emma, I went to the store yesterday, right? Right. To get groceries and such. They have these pop-up art exhibits sometimes. And they did this time as well. Oh cool. That's that's really nice. Wanna see what I saw? Yes. Sure. I'm very curious to see what, what there was. Can you pre-download games? Uh, a lot of a lot of um, games will let you do that. Pre-download it before. I don't know about Nintendo, but um, my husband got Jedi Survivor, and he played it like as soon as it was available, um, and he was able to pre-download that one. Early as you go to bed, it's 11 p.m., really. It's a constant cycle. I sleep late, then the next day I tell you about how tired I am, and then I sleep late again. <laughs> yeah. Oh, bunny, that's... Creepy. It's creepy, I like it. <laughs> it's it's weird and creepy, but like, you know, I'm into weird and creepy stuff. It's actually pretty cool. You doubt Nintendo does pre-downloads, they are so picky. I don't know. I mean, I don't think the game is gonna, especially Tears of the Kingdom, like, I don't think it's gonna take long to to download. 
Remember when you could get a video game, put it in the console, and then play it, right? <laughs> Nintendo doing anything is a miracle. <laughs> I was like, I love it. Never be in my house. Yeah, exactly. Agree. Descending. Please beware of tremors. We can skip this, but I kind of want to watch it. Okay, so I think we might get a shrine here first. I don't... I don't remember. But I think it might be like a shrine and then a boss, but I could be wrong. I could be wrong. I might just put us right into a boss fight. It looks kind of shrine like. Or divine beast like. Hmm. Welcome, hero. You have overcome many trials to reach me. Now it is time to face the final trial. This trial is a complex labyrinth. To start, you will need a map. You may obtain map information from the Guidance Stone. Here we go. I'm so glad they give us, like, another, like, temple, divine beast, you know. That's the main thing that I missed from, like, the more traditional Zelda games. What I might do, because there's some, like, of the little baby guardian thingies, let's equip one of these. Do I have a map? I don't know. Well, obviously we don't have a map yet. We're gonna go find the map. What did they just tell me? Hello? You are a complex labyrinth trial. <laughs> So excited to see the temples. I hope. Obviously, no um No spoilers. I, I know they released some gameplay footage of the game and I've I'm avoiding that. Um I've seen like the late the last trailer, but other than that, I haven't seen anything, so no spoilers for what may have been seen, but I really hope there are like actual temples. I really hope so. Don't send trial away. Apparently he has to. No, it's fine. We always, we play games full of trials, so we get, oh, this is like really close. <laughs> Imagine if they put it like DLC like they wanted to, yeah. Definitely looks like Looks like it's going to be good, um, but I'm glad they've gone with like a new game. Thank you, Kieran. There you go. You need anything else? Uh, no, thank you. Cool. The Zelda tubers you watch followed the rules. Oh yeah, okay, you don't know anything. You don't know. Okay, cool, cool. Very good. Um. Yeah, I was very tempted to watch. <laughs> those like videos but I'm like no 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 I'm not gonna not gonna do it <sighs> only 11 days yeah it's so soon which is why I was like I gotta power through and finish this bunny thank you for the hydrate so this is what we're working with at the moment Uh, let's see what we can do before changing. No, no, no. I didn't mean to do that. 
Did that do it or not? I don't know if it did. I think it did. Anthony, thank you for the stretch. I see someone's keeping an eye on the um, redemptions. <laughs> uh, I didn't get the Zelda Tears of the Kingdom theme switch, no. I was like, I don't need it. I don't. <laughs> as tempting as it was, I didn't need it. Kind of looks like an orc. You 100% of this game multiple times. I can't do another playthrough. I don't have time. I, so when it first came out, I 100%ed it. And then I played it for a second time in 2018 on Master Mode. And I just did like the main game. I didn't do the DLC or 100%. And that was the last time I played it. I like, since then I've been wanting to play it, but I was like, you know what? I'm just going to hold off until like the next game is, you know, announced and we have a release date. So now we're finally here, now I'm playing it again, so. But I'm not doing 100%. <laughs> I'm gonna get all the shrines if I can, and. Obviously I'm doing the DLC. Oh, hello. Okay, I'm gonna see if I can do anything before making like big changes. But I don't really see if I can do anything right now. I think we do have to move stuff. Are they rotating a different way now? Oh, but I think I want them to go the other way so I can climb up here. Mm-hmm. And then we move it the other way. <gasps> There's a gap here though. Let's go in the gap. Okay. <sighs> um, also, Bunny, you picked up a new eyeliner. Maybelline New York Tattoo Studio Liquid Eyeliner. Ooh, cool. Uh, same for you, Zenly. Mostly as a new console. Comes holidays 2023 or early 2024. Yes, but did you do what I did and beat Breath of the Wild in an hour? I did that immediately after I 100% in the game. Wait, you just ran to Calamity Ganon? I have not done that before. <laughs> you hate poop. <laughs> I think the game they showed the Zelda tubers was more of a beta test than anything. From what I read online, um, people were saying that it it's kind of like, um, kind of like what they showed in the gameplay demo. Sort of like that. Okay, I think we need to move this the other way so I can easily climb up here. When it comes back to a spot where I can climb. Here we go, here we go. Careful. Careful. Okay, I don't have to go past the fire yet. I was like, do I need to get through there yet? Okay, so we need to put something in that. There's a chest over there. Okay. 
Uh, Hada, thank you for the don't get hangry. I will have my food soon. <laughs> I heard the world in Tears of Kingdom is likely to be bigger than Elden Rings. That's what I heard as well. Which, I mean, Breath of the Wild has a massive map. And if we're not just getting the map that we have in this game, but then we have the sky version and then possibly underground version as well. It could be huge. What does this do? Uh, yeah. Okay. But where does it need to go? Do I need to get it? <gasps> no, <laughs> damn it. Oh, it's stuck. But you know what I could do to make this faster? do this and keep moving it. Damn it. That worked! Okay, okay, okay. But then we want to move it the other way. I think it'll land down there and then we can pick it up. I heard there's even underground cave networks, yeah. I mean, they kind of implied that in like, what, like the very first trailer that we got, right? All right, back this way. You don't want to hear any more fate, yeah. Easily the best divine beast like dungeon. Okay, we got it. Don't kick it into the lava. <sighs> Just from the trailers, caves are confirmed. Even if there isn't a low rule where it's all interconnected, it'll expand on the surface by at least 70%. And I think this is it. Hopefully it lands where it needs to go. Perfect. Perfect. Okay, so how do I get that chest though? Oh, this is moving. Hmm, I feel like I should get the treasure first. I don't want to fuck it up. And have to redo that. We'll get this first. And then we will get the um the thing. Uh thank you for the lurk, Faye. Um Faye, if you're lurking because the people are talking about Tears of the Kingdom, can we please keep quiet on the Tears of the Kingdom? Just even the videos that are out, because I know some people here are avoiding watching them too. One Unlocked. Three to go. Um. Okay. Uh, it's gotta go the other way. Thanks, guys. Thank you. Uh, that might have been about Faye's lurking, I don't know. <laughs> but I know Faye is trying to not see really anything about the game. And there might be other people here too as well. So like, I mean, I've watched the trailers, but I totally understand people trying to avoid it. You know. Um, so I could jump onto that, but that fire, although, hang on. This could be dangerous. Yeah. <laughs> I didn't think the fire was going to hit me like that. I mean, I could just put on my fire protection. Is 
So I'm trying to think how else I can get up there. And I don't think... It's just this mechanic in the middle that changes. I don't think anything else changes. So that might work if I do this though. Uh-huh. Uh-huh, there we go. I don't know how you get that without... 2015, all right. Um, without the fireproof. <laughs> Clothing. Anyway. We did it though, we did it. Uh, we wanna... Hmm, okay. So we're gonna wanna change this. And then when we jump over, we need to change it back very quickly. I think. Okay, let me change it back. To go this way. Uh, oh, I could go over there, maybe. Let's have a little look over here. Guessing I can't go in here. That thing. Oh. I was like, did that guy respawn? No, there's just way more. <laughs> Maybe they appeared when I got the map. I was like, they weren't here before. Can I move this from here? I don't know what... If that does anything, though. can't see because of the light. Look, I'll climb up there. If I can. No. <laughs> I did want to go over there though. You talk about Tears of the Kingdom so much, my mum is getting tired of hearing about it. <laughs> Like, I'm, I'm obviously excited, but I'm, like, also just, like, trying not to think about it too much so that the time goes quicker. Is this from the second DLC? I think so. It's basically, like, another Divine Beast thing. Although well, technically not a Divine Beast. You never played it, did you? I thought you did. I thought you did. Okay, so I think this is just open. Why didn't I go in here before? You did try the sword one, but you didn't do the other one. Yeah. You're very impatient when you, you're getting hyped for games. <laughs> what if we, uh, not that, do this? I 
I feel like the um the metal thing out here is like obviously important, but we can't stop this. That's where the power's going, so we need something like over here. Matrix, thank you for the hydrate. I might have some more of my up and go heal. Thank you. Uh, mm, I don't know. Wait, oh, I can move that one. Or can I move it though? I don't know if I can. Maybe I can't do this yet because I feel like this has to be moving. And nothing changes here. Nothing's really changing with this either. Hmm. Oh, it needs to slot in. And then of course it gets moving. Yes, yes, yes. Don't get squished. Okay, well, I think we can do this now. Okay, so this one. Oh, we can like, oh, okay. I, I see where it's gotta go. <laughs> I see. Just had your mix of your tropical fruits. Oh, nice. No, oh, I thought you were going to go in there. No? That if maybe my mom, niece, and nephew are going to go do a circus. It's not, okay, maybe it doesn't go any further. Yeah, that's as far as it goes. Okay. Uh, Riley, hello, how you doing? Finally catch a part of an Emma stream. You really need to find your switch to play this. Did you miss it again? I don't think so, Anthony. It might still be, oh. Unavailable. I can't reach that one up there though. I thought this one had to slot in like down here. Maybe not though. It very briefly opens, but maybe I need to Stop it. Hmm. 
I don't know if changing the direction, if that'll just change the direction. That means we can get the chest though. Let's get that chest. We can do something. Oh, can I get over there? Oh, uh huh. There we go. Oh, am I meant to? Oh, yes, I see. I see what I gotta do. We gotta try to get it in. Link, say that. There we go. Now, is that going to get stuck? Oh. We move in. Here we go. We did it. Let's do it. <sighs> Anthony, thank you for the do some exercise. <laughs> Deactivating one lock of the door. Um, we don't need squats today. We can do some squats. Two terminals remaining. We can just get out of here now. This one can just keep moving. You don't recognize this area. So this one's actually, um, it's DLC. Oh, hi, you weren't here before. This is DLC. Did you have the DLC at all, Riley? Um, we're picking up some shit weapons, aren't we? You know what I need to do? I haven't been to the castle yet. And I know you can get some really good weapons from the castle. I'll pick my number, yeah. You have them all. I don't think, you just don't think you did this. Yeah, so this is like, it's, it's the end of the Champions Ballad DLC. Or part of the DLC. Um... And it's kind of like a divine beast. It's like a temple, essentially. Yeah. All right. I'm gonna I'm gonna do some squats, get that redemption done before we do the next two parts of this. I don't know what they technically call this thing. Um, I will leave you guys with some Agatha, and then I actually should probably have some of my food. I should eat some of my food. So firstly, exercise. Hi, Agatha. Hello. One, two, she's watching. Three, four, five, six, seven, Eight, nine, ten. Here we go. And I think I might take this opportunity, yeah, to have some food. So rather than giving my BRB screen, I'm just going to leave you guys with Agatha. I'll mute myself for a little bit, um, but I won't take very long at all. Um, I do have... We'll put this up, just a little BRB, and uh, enjoy Agatha while I eat some food.
All right. <clears throat> Pardon me. I finished my sandwich. I just got to put my headset back on. I uh, Welcome in Yumi. I am apparently a cat now. Yeah. This is me. This is all the stream is these days. <laughs> and Yoshio, welcome in. Hello. Anthony, I will get to your comments soon. I'm just going to have some water. I should probably read my lipstick because it's probably come off. But I thought I'd kind of come back while I can still kind of talk. Hope you guys enjoyed the free cat time. Okay. I'm almost ready. I'm almost ready. Headset time. Got my little elf ears while I put this on. Um, what kind of sandwich did I have? I had a Vegemite and vegan cheese sandwich. <laughs> we discovered this. We got, there's a new vegan cheese that's available now, and it's really good. Like it's actually really tasty. So it makes my Vegemite sandwiches even tastier. <sighs> All right. Um, Anthony is saying this number of weapons would drive me nuts in games. I usually have a primary weapon or weapons and if I need multiple weapons it's in a different place if possible like a separate inventory uh, and anything I pick up and don't need like duplicates or things that do inferior damage you sell. I like my inventory clean even if it comes to crafting or upgrading. That prob that's probably the only thing organized. I'm super unorganized IRL. <laughs> Even Skyrim I managed to keep things organized really. You love cat time? Yeah. Honestly, like, in this game, like, you have your elemental weapons. So you've got, like, you know, fire, ice, uh, electricity, um, something that's, like, better for smashing, like, boulders, that kind of thing. But ultimately, like, the main, the main thing is a weapon with high numbers on it. <laughs> So, and because they break, you just kind of go through them and you just get used to it. You've wanted a Vegemite sandwich ever since the song Land Down Under. <laughs> Vegemite, um, it's definitely not for everyone, but I grew up with it. I love it. All right. All righty. Well, let's use my master sword for this guy. And actually... We're just getting close. We're getting close. There we go. Oh, so my master sword not glowing. It's not. But you're technically a guardian, right? Or is it? It's not. We can use this. Oh, that's gone now. What about my spear? That's gone too. Okay. <laughs> there we go. That would drive me nuts as well if they break that easily. I mean, I've used this weapon a bunch, so... They don't break, like, right away on you. They eventually break, but... It's not like super quickly. Okay, so we gotta get over there somehow, which I think we just gotta climb up here. And then I can interact with these things though, but I think they're Oh. Is that gonna like lock in place at all or nah? Here. Actually, there might be an easy way to do this one. Oh, uh, I don't know. 
We'll see. What kind of taste is similar to Vegemite? It's kind of hard to... to answer that. Because it does have its own unique flavour. It's very salty. It's very salty, but like the actual flavour, it's, it's hard to say. Oh, that makes it really easy to get up here. Do they have a place you can constantly repair them before they break? No. So once they, once they break, they're gone. But the amount of weapons that you get in the game, it's like a lot. I know some people find it annoying, but like, honestly, because they give you a shit ton. I never feel like I'm ever lacking. I almost have too much, you know. And of course my must so it's running low. We may as well just use it up and then deal with it. Not this one. Come here. Actually, you can do that if you like. Must not come. <laughs> See, Trial's not a fan of it. And I know a lot of people criticize the weapons breaking, but I'm just like, they give you so much. It didn't bother me. And it doesn't bother me. Oh my god, stop it. That's <laughs> fine. The shield. Here we go. Uh, thank you for the follow. Welcome in. Okay, this shield is going to break soon, so I'm... It's probably worth to drop this one soon. Okay. Oh, I know what I'm... Oh. That is not what I was intending to do. Sarah? Sarah, thank you so much for the raid. Welcome in, raiders. Uh, is it... Delish? Dalish? Dalish? Fury? Welcome in. Zet... Zetetic? Z Zetic? I'm so sorry if I'm <laughs> completely butchering your usernames. Uh, but welcome in. Styron, hello, hello. Esperata. I hope you're all doing well. What were you what were you streaming today? Playing some Breath of the Wild as well. Very nice. Uh, is that a first playthrough? Or are you replaying it? Because Tears of the Kingdom is very, very soon. I don't know where to put that thing. Uh, on your first playthrough, I knew you'd love it. Oh, that's so exciting. This is definitely a game that I wish I could play for the first time again. <laughs> you love it. I hate it sometimes. <laughs> I'm glad I'm glad you're enjoying it. Oh, that's so exciting. Whereabouts? Like, I don't want to spoil anything, but like... What divine beasts have you taken down? So this is, this is actually DLC. Um, so if you do want to avoid spoilers, I completely understand. Um, also just being like to get some rest after stream, look after yourself, self care. Um, please do that if you need to, but other if you want to stick around too, but I, I can, I understand if you need rest and to avoid spoilers. Um, mostly just vibe in Hyrule and love finding new things. Yeah. Oh, oh, very early in, you have no divine beast, hardly any story. Oh, wow. Okay, so you're very early on. Oh, that's so exciting. That's very, very exciting. You accidentally ran into a Xenoblade DLC today. I thought it was fun. I don't know if I've actually... I know there is... That is in the game, but I don't think I've found that on this playthrough yet. <laughs> That's cool. Have you played Xenoblade? I've actually never played Xenoblade before. 
Uh, thank you for the follow. Thank you. Uh, welcome in, Creepy. How you doing? Um, but yeah, this is, this is, we're getting towards the end of, of part of the DLC. Um, is anyone else excited for Tears of the Kingdom? Anyone else that has actually played the game? I've, I have actually 100%ed the game before when it first came out. Um, and then I have played on Master Mode as well. So this is my third playthrough. Me either. I was just like, what is this? Yeah, okay, and he gave me something shiny worth it. Yeah, true. I mean, finding all the shinies is very enjoyable. <laughs> Even if, like, you don't really care what you got, just the act of, like, finding something. You would cry watching my playthrough. I'm so bad. <gasps> You're in the early part. You're in the early stage of things. You know, that's that's normal. <laughs> I'm sure you'll get more into it. It's funny, so like I um I'm a big fan of the Soulsborne games as well, and I've played through a lot of them the past couple of years. Since I last played Breath of the Wild. And like I played Elden Ring last year and like love it. And so going back to this game, I was like, the combat is like so different. I'm like not used to it. So it took me like a little while to like get into the swing of things with this game. Creepy, thank you for the hydrate, thank you. But yeah, I'm, I'm very excited for Tears of the Kingdom. It's less than two weeks away now, it's like a week and a half. So I'm like, I gotta get, I gotta get through this game and finish it and do what I wanna do. While there are a lot of weapons, there's only four types. Light, heavy, pole, and the leaf, which leads combat to feeling mostly the same no matter which weapon you have. Every light weapon has the exact same attack pattern, yeah, as every other light weapon, yeah. And I mean, like, that's definitely something that someone might not like, but then other people might like it, so that even though you have a ton of weapons, you still have an idea of how, like, a lot of the weapons are going to fight, um, you know. And I think if each weapon was like drastically different. I think people would dislike that even more, <laughs> honestly. Hey Usa, how you doing? The progress on the bike is going well. We are in like the final stage. We almost have it. <laughs> we got to finish this and then I think we have like a big bad boss and then I think we finally get it. Also, I have to say, your hair looks incredible, and I'm very jealous of the vibrant red. Oh, thank you. Uh, unfortunately, it is not natural. <laughs> Wish it was. Um, but thank you, I do it myself. And if you want to know what products I use, I actually have a command for it, because people ask me about it. And it's a hair dye um, that lightens my hair a little bit and dyes it at the same time, so I don't need to bleach it. So it's like, this is like, this is all my hair. This, my hair grows very, very long and it's not damaged. It's not too damaged. Um, yeah, not a natural redhead either. Yeah. <laughs> so yeah, if you want any, any, any tips on, on the hair and the hair color that I use, well, the hair dye that I use, uh, the color that I use well, the type of dye that I use actually only comes in red tones as well. So it goes from either like orangey red to like pinky red or purpley red. Um, but it's actually only red shades. Whatever the type of dye that it is, I guess it only works in these colors. Um, but yeah, there you go. I've been dyeing my hair this red for like 12 years now. It's been a while. Uh, also, Yumi, welcome in. You wish this came out when I was a kid, but I don't like playing as Link anymore. You want to play as Zelda now? Hmm. I guess we'll we'll find out and see if that's something that happens uh, in the next one. Also, thank you for that follow. Thank you. You're gonna dye your hair orange. So the dye that I use, like, um, I actually mix two different colors together. Um, but you can get ones that are like very orangey. 
So if I wanted to, I could go like an orangey color. <laughs> You've only been red for a little over a year, but it's probably gonna stick. You love it, yeah. I love I love red hair. Before I had red hair, I actually had black hair. And I was like, I want I wanna like dye my hair a bright colour. And I was tossing up between red or purple. But I'm glad that I went with the red, because I think the red really suits me as well. I know the different genres, but in Destiny, there's 17 different weapon archetypes, each with their own subtype, and people have their favorites from each and swap all the time without issue as the situation calls. But yeah, right. I think if if this game had more weapon archetypes, they would maybe have to change something about the breakability of them. I don't know. I wouldn't mind it. I wouldn't mind if it was like the weapons that we have, but a lot of them had different feel, like a different feel to them. But I don't know if everyone else would like that. Okay, I am, ooh, I can just like, can I just collect that? I don't need to go over to it. I can just bring it to me. Nice. How do you get dark brown hair light enough to not need bleach? So... When I dye my hair, it does lighten my hair a little bit. So the dye that I use, if you guys know anything about bleaching hair or dyeing hair a lighter colour, um, it's like a mix of... I have my hair dye colour and then I have a peroxide developer which helps activate the hair color I guess um, and there's different strengths of that so you go to a higher strength that will lighten your hair more I use like for anyone that knows about hair I use 30 vol for it um, and that lightens my natural hair color to like this color um, but I'm not technically not using like Bleach, I guess. But this but this only works with like my um like with the red colors. I'm guessing like you know bleach would be a lot stronger mixed with the with the peroxide. You just feel like a great sword should feel different than a hammer, yeah. You play a bit of near replicant JS and it's cool, nice. There's a heavy developer, oh, that's a heavy developer, yeah. Gotta be to get that light, yeah. So for me, I use 30 volt, and that's enough to lighten my hair and give it this bright red. Um, you can use 40 volt. When I was dyeing my husband's hair, he's got like naturally quite dark hair. We had to use 40 volt for the same color, and because um, 30 wasn't enough. But so I basically, I put 30 volt on my roots for my natural hair color, but for the rest of my hair that's already lightened, I just use like 10 vol which would lighten it like a little bit but like not enough to damage my hair but yeah might sound confusing if you guys don't understand hair dyeing <laughs> the hair dyeing process but I've like learned over the years um, and I actually did um, back when I was in high school many years ago I did work experience at a hairdresser's I didn't do any hair dyeing but I was like an assistant I helped with basic stuff like tea and coffee but also like mixing hair dyes for customers I was like they kind of taught me a little bit about that which was cool he dyed the same color yeah Kieran had a bright red hair bright red mohawk for a little bit you've done so much research on how to lighten my red just too chicken to try it at home yourself first yeah honestly there's the stuff that I use um and depending on your natural hair color you could start with like a lower amount because if you start with a lower developer amount it's not going to be too it's definitely not as damaging as using actual like bleach 
And also it means you just need to do like the one lot. You don't need to like bleach it and then dye it red afterwards, you know? Um, yeah. You're really more of a salt and pepper hair color now naturally, but it's blondish now. Strained enough after dyeing purple. Oh, really? Doing the bleach and when waiting to dye it is a pain, yeah. And like the bleach is gonna be um, more damaging and easy to fuck up, basically. <laughs> I, um, I've, when I had black hair, I like bleached like a bit of my fringe and put like some color in it. And even that, like, I was nervous. I would not want to bleach my whole head. I wouldn't do that. I'd be, I'd be scared. When I went from black to red, I did go to a hairdresser the first time and they bleached it. But then afterwards I was able to, once it had already been lined a bit and my natural hair color was coming through, I was like, okay, I can do this now. <sighs> All right, um, I don't know what I'm doing here. Oh, wait. Oh, it needs to go up there. I was wondering where this needed to go. Oh, that needs to, like, connect. Come on. No. Damn it. Is that as far as it goes? No, there we go. Why can't we have naturally have anime... Uh, character hair color, yeah. If I could just naturally decide on having this color, oh, it'd be so good. <gasps> oh, it'd be so good. Like, I also think, like, white blonde hair is really pretty. But, like, that would be a lot of work. Especially if you have no, da naturally darker hair. All right, I think we'll just go in that one maybe, unless I can start doing things over here. Oh, they fall. That's gotta be raised up there. I see what I gotta do. And I hope it stays. I mean, I'm just gonna go. We'll do this side first. <laughs> we unlock the other side. Yeah, it dropped down. I need to get out of the chat and do self-care self -care things, no worries. We're gonna lurk and get ready for bed. So nice to actually meet you. Is it okay to call you Emma? Yeah, of course. Yep, yeah. Emma's fine. M Marie's like, well, X is separate to the Marie and Emma. And Marie is my middle name, so Marie feels weird, but Emma is totally fine. Thank you for being a place that felt safe bringing over the family. No worries, I appreciate that. I know it's always scary rating someone new, um, and I really appreciate it. And um, thank you for the raid again, and yes, please self-care stream. I know what it's like. Streaming is exhausting, and I understand you need to like lurk and just go, go do some self-care. You get it? Yeah, yeah. It is scary, but um, I'm glad you chose me out of everyone you could have rated on Twitch. I appreciate it. Ask the fam happy to be here. I'm glad, I'm glad. Oh. Okay, that's just like to show you like, hey, you can get in here, I think. This is obviously a water puzzle. Can I just... Uh, that's not going to work there. What about under here? No. That doesn't work there though. That's not helping me. Has anyone ever called you Max? No, but I've had people call me Air Max. 
and I was like, I'd never like thought of people reading my name like that, but it also makes sense. <laughs> um, yeah, I've heard the MX before, but not not Max. No, M is one of the best choices to rate. Thank you, JS. <sighs> M, Max, Marie, yeah. That. What if I... Ooh, wait. Wait, 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 wait. No, 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 no. Why can't I do it here? Okay, that is deep water. Um, why can't I wait why can't I get rid of that why can't I get rid of it you know how you can only break them what if we go the other way Oh, you know, I'm an idiot. Wow, there's a... No, wait. This is where I entered. I'm not an idiot. <laughs> not an idiot. It's fine. Why isn't... This is not working. Oh, no, because I'm aiming outside. That's why it's... <sighs> uh... It's fine. I was like, can I, can I put that under? Yeah, there we go. There we go. Quick, quick, Link. Go, go, go. Are there any chests? I don't see any. Okay, I think I can get rid of that. What if I shorten your name? And call you Ma. <laughs> I'm not your your mom. <laughs> Cheeky Moogle. <sighs> um. All right. What do we need to do here? I feel like I need to move this. This looks like a big hammer, right? Looks like a hammer. What happens if I do this? That was it? Okay. <gasps> There's a chest down there. I wasn't even sure if that was right. But where's the thing? Oh, it's, it's back this way. <gasps> oh. Okay, this is like a, a room that we haven't been in properly. Oh. I guess we want to do that. Because we need the water back. I didn't even know what I was trying to do here, but that works. Perfect. That was cool. Does this game have Elden Ring difficulty at all? Um, I don't think so. I think this game is much easier. <laughs> Two more weeks to finish the game. It's more like a week and a half, JS. It's like 11 days. 11 days. <laughs> 
<laughs> 12 hour streams for the next 11 days. Why take me that long? Not that long. Wait. There's gonna be like another guardian thingy out here. Oh, fuck off. One of those ones. I'll come back here. Okay, he's going on that side. <gasps> the shield is gone. I was saving that ugh, for later. Nice. Oi. Okay, they're almost down. Damn it. I hate wasting bomb arrows. Hate it. We'll go kill them. We will go kill them. Oh, I think they're gonna die going into the lava maybe? Oh, come on. Oh, it died, but I'm not gonna be able to get its pieces. Okay. Hey, Andre, welcome in. Ah, we're going the other way. How's everyone? I'm doing good. We are we are we have almost finished the DLC. Well, this part of the this specific DLC. Almost. So it's gone good. I hope you're doing well. Alright, um this one is the last. I didn't even need to climb up. What am I doing? That is taking me nowhere. <laughs> we can just like chill here while we wait. I think the door is going to be down the bottom anyway. It's fine. And obviously we have like a wind puzzle in here. Okay, finally. <laughs> finally. Ooh, that looks a bit dangerous. So. Uh, let's. actually freeze that. Oh, hello. I am going to change my weapon because... Oh wow, this one has like no health. Oh, I mean this weapon is really good as well. <laughs> Give me your axe. Swallow bow. It's got fast. It's fast to draw, but it does shit all. I don't want it. So let's. I'm still gonna get it though. For the sake of collecting all the chests. Although I don't know if that really matters in this part of the game. Must be a challenge avoiding spoilers for the next game on Twitch. 
Well, the game's not out yet, but some YouTubers got um, got to play some of the game recently, and they've uploaded some videos, and I have been avoiding that. Um, and one reason why I'm going to be playing it on release is to try to avoid... Oh, I didn't mean to do that. Is to avoid spoilers as well. Hey, wave rooms, how you doing? Ugh. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. There we go. Alright. Now, what do we want to do? Climb up here. I don't know what it wants me to do in here. Oh, that looks like there is a plot. Oh, it's over there. That's where the thing is. So the air is going... This way. I kind of want to get up there too. So I think we want to go over there. So I think changing this will change the direction of the air. Yes. And then we can get up higher. Onto that platform. So now we want to move it the other way. And going here. And then we've got to stop this. So we can get over. Oh, please get it. Yeah, we made it. We made it. It's fine. <sighs> Oxygen is a myth, Bunny? Really? <laughs> I don't blame you for avoiding the spoilers. They're no fun. <sighs> yeah, like I watched, I watched all the trailers and I played, I watched the gameplay demo as well. And I'm like, that's that's enough. Like it's very tempting to want to watch the gameplay from the YouTubers and stuff, but I'm just like, nope, nope. <laughs> it's tough not to watch it, but the game's not far away. I can wait. We clearly run on thoughts and prayers. Yeah, exactly. Okay, so I think we got everything. We got the chest. That's it. That's it. I was like, why is this closed? We gotta wait. We gotta wait. It's so close now, you can wait, yeah. It'll be fine. Now, do we have like a big scary guardian in here now? Or not this time? Oh, now I can probably do what I need to do. Also, I did not realize there is a ladder right here. And I've been climbing up the hard way. Okay, I think, yeah, now that can slot in, I think. Come on, it's almost there, it's almost there. Go. I do remember the boss for this one. I do remember the boss. I don't remember if it was difficult at all. Also, I've still got the fire gear on. Oh, I, I put that on because of a previous um, the fire section but I didn't change it back okay 
This sword isn't too bad. Speaking of thoughts and prayers, girl, I'm gonna try to play my Dark Elves again. <gasps> Good luck. <laughs> I hope you win. Okay, just checking. Just checking. I swear to Kane, if those dusty ass mummies even look at me, I will be pissed. You have proven to possess the power of a true hero. In the name of the goddess Hylia. <gasps> Look at that, he's moving! He's moving! None of them move this much. I offer this final trial. This was like an oh shit kind of moment. <laughs> Listen to this. I forgot that it was in the sky. And it's raining. Let us begin. Gotta fight the monk. Mm -hmm. This is really cool. Damn it. Where are you? Where are you? Where are you? Oh, you're up there. You're up there. I'm doing like shit all damage on him. Wow. Wait. He's using a, uh, a guardian. Weapon, sword thing. Maybe not the best weapon, but what else do I have? Like Thunder Spear. That's nice and fast. Oh! Not a good idea to have that on! <laughs> nope. Nope. Terrible idea. Wait, no. This one is just not enough space. It's too short. The range is very short. I wanted to get him then, but I did not. Or did I get him? Maybe I got him. I've got plenty of health, by the way, if anyone's wondering. Ooh, ouch. What's that rock? I don't waste my Druk's protection, so I'm not like locking on, but I could always turn that off, I guess. Look at that. Look at him jumping about. Wait. Oh, is this phase two? Okay, there's lots of them. I did forget about all these phases. There's one phase that I remember. There's definitely one that I remember. This one though. Where's the real one? You're the real one? No. You're not the real one, okay.
<laughs> so many of them. Oi, 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 oi. I've also got fairies and I've got plenty of health, so I'm not too concerned about my health right now. Oi. Link, get up, get up. Again. Again. Oh, is this like. Is this like Ocarina of Time? Oi! With the ghosts, you have all of them around you? <laughs> Shit. Oh, it's close. No, come back. No, I know it's you, I know it's you, I know it's you. What? Link, get up, get up. He Link takes forever to get up again. It's so annoying. At least I have a shit ton of stamina. Of course it's raining. I think it's like, maybe it is the last one that you hit is him. <laughs> Cause like no matter what order I get them in, doesn't seem to matter. Come here. No, not all your lightning. Didn't finish your work, so you have to do a lot tomorrow. Oh, JS, I'm sorry to hear that. Ah! I'm just gonna run. Oh my gosh, dude. Maybe I should be shooting with more arrows. They all zoom in after me. <laughs> you the real one? No. Oi. Yeah, my sword's almost broken. I get it, I get it, I get it. Maybe I... Uh... Nope, lightning. <sighs> My things. <gasps> That's him. Okay. So it, there is actually the proper one. Can I knock you off the edge? Oh, okay, not this one, not this one. Run. Run. Oh, okay. <laughs> oh, nice. Thank you for being close by. All right. Phase three. Giant version. This is what I re this is what I remember. I forgot that you actually fight him small too. Oh no! Ouch! Yeah, that's painful. I'm like, can I like use them? You look like you're doing electricity stuff. Nice. Why do you get to do that?
Oh fuck. <gasps> fuck. <laughs> Shit. It's fine, we've got Mephis Grey, so we've got plenty of food and fairies, so. I'm just gonna hold out until. You are moving around, buddy. So I give it anywhere on the body, but I think, like, obviously the face is better. We are running a bit low on arrows. How much does a bomb arrow do? That didn't really do much at all. That did, like, nothing. That's not really doing any damage. I don't think. Okay. Maybe let's quit it with the arrows then. There we go. Can I do this? That didn't really do anything. Great. Yeah, so if he does that, the one where I got him in the eye. I'm just gonna run away from these ones. I was like, I could try to like, magnesis them, but I feel like that's gonna be too tricky. Uh oh, okay. Oh, that's their, oh, I see what I can do. I see what I can do. Oh, I can get them and then I can go hurt him. Ah, perfect, okay. Next time, next time. Let's run a bit closer to you then. Let's run a little bit closer. Does that hurt you? Does that not hurt you? Yeah, that does. That does! Yeah, it's almost broken. I know, I know, I know, I know. Not that one, don't use that one. Um, not that one either. We've got the Stone Smasher. The Great Flame Blade. I don't know if... Decisions, decisions. Okay, where are the balls? Yep, 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 yep. This is a long fight. Ooh, yep. I didn't realize that was going to hurt me. You know what? Maybe we just eat something. And we have Mipha's Grace in case we desperately need it. And the fairies. I could also... I don't have any food that makes me do attack up. I don't think. I mean, I could, I don't know if I really need the defense. We could go with that clothing. Means we do a bit more damage. Oh, this one, this one's good. Okay, that got them kind of. Ugh. The, and I don't think with the, the great swords you don't really get many attacks in because they're so slow. Yes, we like this one, we like this one. Oh wow. I'm on his head! <laughs> uh, that was kind of funny. I didn't do any damage, but we were on his hat. Do it again, please. Do it again. 
Oh, this one. Okay, we get close, we get close. We want to get close. He's almost done! He's almost done! Shit. And also, we almost have um, Urbosa's Fury back. Oh, he's not happy. He is not... Oh, he's just walking around. Uh-oh, oh, what is this? This is a new phase. Oh, little guys. <laughs> I'm just gonna go for you. I'm just gonna go for you. We're so close. <laughs> We're so close. Get up. We can easily get him. Now? Is that it? I think that was it. I got a lot of damage in when I started doing that spin attack. He was not happy. No. <laughs> Thank you, Riley. That's actually, that's a really cool fight. I mean, part of the reason why is because it's so different to, like, the other bosses. Phase two. Oh, this is another. Well, technically, there was like four phases in that fight. There was four different phases. So you face that challenge with great courage. Next phase. Hey, Death Wizard. You have erased all doubt from my mind. You are a true hero. Do I finally get the bike? As such, you are destined to take hold of this ancient masterpiece. The bike. Do we finally get the bike? I forgot that this thing, like, changed. Is it gonna display it? Yeah! Look at that! It needs more than just the do 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 Like, we have this epic music. And of course it kind of looks like a horse. <laughs> we got it! It was on on the um on here. There we go. Summon Master Cycle Zero. Insert materials into the tank to convert them into fuel. You can freely call upon this item, but summoning it will not work in certain areas. So I need materials for fuel. I don't remember that. That which you have obtained is a masterpiece of innovation created for the one true hero. Hero of Hyrule, may the goddess smile upon you. We finally got it. <laughs> I just forgot how big the, that DLC was. But we finally got it. Oh. Hi, Cass. Mm. 
Hmm? Ah, it's you. I can't put my feather on it, but I get the feeling you're even more accomplished than you were when we last met. I happen to have the perfect song for someone as esteemed as you. I would love to sing it for you. My teacher's unfinished song, the one I told you about. I finally completed the key verses. This lofty location is the perfect stage to sing this special song. It takes place 100 years ago at Hyrule Castle. Yes, the very castle you can still see over yonder. It's about the magnificent inauguration of the Chosen Champions. <gasps> Do we get more cutscenes? If you would, please listen to this special song. The Champions Ballad. Do I have Amazon Prime? Um, not at the moment. Sometimes I get like a free trial of it every now and then. <gasps> Look at the castle and like the, the castle town. Welcome, warriors. I'd like to thank you for joining me here today. And for your bravery in accepting this fateful task. I officially appoint you Hyrule's champions and bestow upon you this sacred garb. That blue is a symbol of the royal family, one that has been passed down for countless generations. Those garments you now wear were all crafted by my daughter, Zelda. Zelda, I trust you with the task only a daughter of the royal family can fulfill. Lead our champions, princess, and together protect our kingdom from the threat of Calamity Ganon. Formal shindigs really take it out of me. Hmm. This is the Sheikah Slate, eh? It is. Apparently, there are more uses for it than we originally thought. Sadly, we've yet to decipher all of its secrets. The princess showed me something strange recently. Somehow, <laughs> it can create true to life images. Wow. I would love to see it. Um, Princess, may I ask a special favor of you? All right, this fight Take a photo of them. Keep your eyes on the Sheikah Slate, everyone. Got to zoom further out. Daruk, can you crouch down a bit? You're as big as Death Mountain. Huh? Oh. <laughs> What's with the glum face, princess? Give me a big smile. Huh? <sighs> Rabali, move your tail closer to the group. <sighs> Fine. Mifa, you look so tense. Deep breaths, okay? Right. <laughs> No, a Hyrule selfie, yeah. <laughs> also, thank you for that follow welcome in that we had. Um, was there any surprise Link would be the champion? No. Uh, Rogue Squadron 3D is free on Prime Gaming starting May 4th. Ah, I mean. I don't know if Kieran would be interested in maybe having Prime Gaming for like a little bit for that or something. 
After this ceremony, they would all forever be known as champions. My teacher always advised me to write songs that transport the listener to the moment in time you're singing of. Mm. Now I finally feel I understand what he meant and the true power of music. Mm. By the way, I found this when I was looking through my teacher's notes. I was thinking you should be the one to keep it. Mm. Your courageous heart reminds me of the indomitable spirit of the champions. I know you'll treasure it. We get the picture of them. A final thought. May the souls of the champions who watch over Hyrule rest in peace. watched your journey every step you have overcome every challenge with great courage with the power that you have attained i am certain you can defeat calamity ganon true she's like you haven't you haven't fought Calamity Ganon yet. Please come help me now. <laughs> no. Urbosa's fury is ready. Thanks, Urbosa. You think Mario and Luigi and Link don't really have much surprises anymore? How old the titles are? Yeah. I mean, even the stories in Zelda aren't like super surprising <laughs> um we got the bike we have the bike look at this beauty also I'm gonna put on some like different clothing so we can like look more like breath of the wild link look at the bike Hey Ratchet, welcome in. Where did properly coloured Emma go? <laughs> this is properly coloured Emma. Yesterday it was a. F oh, we're rolling. We're rolling a little bit. We have the bike. Oops. Oh, we're stuck on a rock. It's fine. This is very cool. This is what I was going for this entire time. <laughs> it's still weird to be like riding a bike in a Zelda game. Zero jump. How do I get rid of you? Can I... Does it just live there now? Okay. Does my... Is my horse still out? Yeah, so my horse is still out as well. So it's like separate. We finally got it! The bike is literally running on renewable energy. Yeah. He has a motorcycle now. It took him long enough and seems a tad out of sorts. It is definitely a bit out of sorts, but it's part of the DLC. So it's not part of like the main game. It's cool, but it's not Laney. Look, that's true. <laughs> All right, I'm like, now what do I do? Now what do we do? So we have a lot of shrines to get through. Um, we may as well go over here. Because the travel medallion is here and we should use that. Uh, and then basically I want to do all the shrines and do the trial of the sword. Now do 100%. Nah. 
I've already done 100% before. Not again. Not again. 100% shrines? Yes. Also, we should probably go to, like, Hyrule Castle, get the Hylian Shield. Because I haven't got that yet. And also, we get some good weapons from there, too. Okay, so I think... Is it in here somewhere? I think it's, like, down in here. Yeah, okay, we can just bomb arrow that. That'll do. That'll do. I don't mean to do that. I want to also change this. You have done all Korok seeds? I have indeed. Yep. Next is the Keys, Tears of the Kingdom DLC. Watch them have a Hyrule helicopter. <laughs> I mean, from what I've seen about the game, maybe. Oh, a modest test of strength. All right, this will be easy. This will be easy. I've got the Master Sword. I do have the Ancient Battle Axe or the Guardian Spear as well. And he's got a sword and an axe that we will hopefully get. Oh, actually, I should. Ouch. I suck at flurry rushes. <laughs> For like these guys, I just cannot time it. You gonna do your spinny thing? Spinny thing time. Locked on. You gonna spin? Nice. We could use the spear. It's very fast. Okay, we're, he's gonna start doing the laser. That works. That works. Laser is low damage, but it's very fast. You up to this phase yet? You're gonna go blue. No, it's this one. I thought it was gonna go into blue phase already. Now are you going into blue phase? Yeah, you're going into blue phase. There we go, Guardian Sword and Axe. After Tears of the Kingdom, the next claim will be a GTA clone. <laughs> imagine, imagine a Zelda game like GTA. All right, how are we going for weapons again? We've, there's definitely some here that I'm like, I really don't need them or I'm gonna use them. Is it like a lightsaber? Uh, no, it's more to stay. It's like guardian tech sword. It's not. I don't think it's light. Not like a lightsaber. What do we got a better weapon. A good weapon would be nice, but this is oh sapphire. I'll take a sapphire. Thank you.
Nice. Now we can get another heart. Because we have four more spirit orbs. <gasps> Look at the little... I feel the bike goes on this screen. <laughs> Look at it. I mean, I guess it's like... It was kind of like a divine beast almost, so... I forgot that that went there. How big is the DLC? It's pretty big. It was bigger than I remembered it was. I'd actually forgotten a bunch about it. All right, let's get rid of that. And I think there's another shrine that I've found, but I didn't end up actually doing the shrine. I think there's only one. I think it's just this one up here. Uh, we also have Eventide Island to do, and I might give that a try. Maybe. Um, I should also... I don't know how many Korok seeds I have on me at the moment. Oh, it's going to be too cold, but if we go in quickly, we'll be fine. Because I think that's a hundred. I've got 149 Korok seeds total. Is this a major test of strength? There we go. Well, I can use that, and then I can use the axe and the guardian sword. Obviously, we have the master sword as well. But these ones all do extra damage on these guys. Good thing you're getting Age of Calamity. I haven't played that. The playstyle isn't really my kind of game. Maybe one day I will, though. He's got three weapons. Oh, and I sh oh, I got the right shield on. See, I'm terrible at it. You're doing this. Didn't quite make it. Didn't quite make it. <laughs> Did not quite make it. Oh, I got it. I got it. Ugh. The rare chance that I actually get it. Sometimes that doesn't work for them, so that's why I put two down. Ouch. You don't need to get it because you can play as Zelda. <laughs> See, okay, sometimes... Sometimes they don't get stunned by them. Um, when it's like spinny parts. Let's do this. Switch cartridges are so tiny and flimsy. I feel like I'm going to break it just from swapping cartridges. Oh, really? Oh. They are quite small, aren't they? And Panda, welcome in. How you doing? Laser time again. There we go. 
Is it blue time? Yeah, it's blue time. We gotta go. <sighs> Here we go. I think we got everything. I think that was everything. Yeah. This is your favorite game of all time. I love it, it's so good. Guessing you're pretty hyped for Tears of the Kingdom. I'm very excited for it. Okay. That was like modest test of strength and then major one right after the other. Ooh, 52 Claymore. You're so excited for it, yeah. It's like a week and a half away. Candy on the days, yeah. We were just saying today for me, because I'm in Australia, so we get it like the we get it a bit early. Um It's like eleven days, maybe. Yeah, I think it's like eleven days for us. <sighs> so soon. Uh, we just actually finished, uh, as you can see, I got the bike. So we finally just got the bike. Um, we're working towards that for a bit. But I would like to get all the shrines if I can. We've got 85 so far, so that's like... Hang on, it's 120, so that's... 35 to go, if my math is correct. So not too bad. Love the bike. Yeah, I was like, I wanted to get it as early as possible so I could actually like use it. Cause when I, when I, you know, I, when I first got the game, I a hundred percent of it. And when the DLC came out, I did the DLC and then it was like, I don't really have anything else to do in the game. So I didn't have a use to use the bike, <laughs> but, but I was like, let's get it early so I can actually use it. Uh, I should probably put on some better clothing for the weather here. Because I realize there's a shrine here that I haven't done yet as well. I'm going to go to the shrines that I have like marked down. And then we'll go to the ones that I haven't got yet. The ones that I remember and I'll probably need to look at a map. Only 35. Yeah, that's not like it seems like a lot, but it's not that many. They almost got that Final Fantasy 16 Pixel remake. The way it'd be perfect for me, a couple of changes gives it, you'd say 8.5 out of 10. I um I really want to play the the Pixel remasters. I've only played a couple of Final Fantasy games. But I want to try some of the older ones. If you ever get bored, you can always collect all the 900 crocs. That's true. I did do that once and I don't really want to do it again. <laughs> but I'll search for Koroks. <laughs> You know what else I can put on? Gonna head to bed and like have a good um. It's afternoon, right? It, it it's four p.m. for me. So yes, thank you for hanging out, Riley. I hope you have a good sleep and thank you for the lurk. I was like, how come you saw me? You saw me, but I, yeah. It's fine. Afternoon, evening. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Gotta find your switch. Yeah. Oh. <sighs> Ooh, fire. Power of reach. So can we like knock that over? Yeah. But that didn't do anything else extra. Or did it? <gasps> no, it did. Okay. I don't know if there's any Mm. 
in that chest. I'm like, wait, can I just bring that to me? I don't need to climb up to it. <laughs> Beto, thank you for the hydrate the stretch and then don't get hangry. Thank you. How you doing? The shrine music makes you feel so smart. <laughs> Some of the shrines can be tricky. There's so many times where I'm like, was this the intended way to solve it? I don't think so, but you know what? One thing I love about this game is that there are many different ways that you can solve the puzzles. All right, so we need a key for that. We need a key. Oh. Do you have a broken hand? A broken hand. Tex, thank you for the 36 month resub. Off to work just saying hi and bye. Hope you are doing well. I am doing good. Hope you have a good shift at work tonight. Thank you for the 36 months. That's a long time. Is that. Wait. I know that's a new sub badge. <gasps> Rage! Rage, thank you for the raid. Welcome in. You were on late. You must have done a really long stream. <laughs> what were you playing today? Hello, everyone. Also, Vidi, you only drank around four beer bottles this time, so you're not dying. That's good. <laughs> That's good. Any order gift? <gasps> Welcome in Trinity and Trial and Rach. Hello. Oh, dang, Dingus. And Kay, hello, hello. You did, you, you did an 11 hour stream? Holy shit. <laughs> That's long. That's a long stream. You're gonna be in Brizzy next week, Tags. Oh, that's exciting, that's so soon. We played Divinity of Sin 2. I don't think I know that one. Just cause he felt like it. I mean, look, sometimes it's like, sometimes, longer streams work better if you haven't planned them and you just like feel like doing it whereas if you plan it then you might be like oh I'm like too tired or whatever <laughs> um so look I mean if you felt like it you felt like it if you need to do some self-care and get some food and rest and do what you're gonna do after 11 hours please go look after yourself Rach but thank you for bringing everyone here And then because you have work, yeah. I wish you didn't have to work. You're going to try to get some sleep, Katie? No worries. Thank you for hanging out. And Kieran, thank you for the exercise. How's Breath of the Wild? It's going good. We finally... I don't know if you know much about this game, Rage, but we finished part of one part of the DLC. And I got the motorcycle. It's awesome. I love it. We, like, literally just got it. Um... But we're currently in a shrine now. But it's going good. We're making progress. I think I'll be fine to do what I want to do before the next game comes out. Um, since Kieran redeemed exercise and Rach just raided us, I will give you guys a little free cat time while I do some exercise. <laughs> oh no, you get to see the kitty cat. Um, you know a bit, but you never beat it. Though. Yeah, okay. There she is. There she is. All right, what should we do? Um, I've done, we've done push-ups today. I've done star jumps, jumping jacks. Um, I've done squats. I've done, I've done the dumbbell one. I could do like the dumbbell over the head ones, which I don't really need to show you guys the cat cam for that, but it's fine. We'll have the cat cam on. Because we know Rach loves Agatha. <laughs> Sock. Yeah, you can see one of her little socks. <laughs> She's being a good girl today. Is she going to watch me? Agatha. Hello. Hi, Agatha. Ooh, my shoulder is cracking. <laughs> I don't know if you guys can hear that. <laughs> yeah, crack. It's like cracking consistently in the same spot. 
Oh, I'm gonna like mute myself so you guys don't have to hear the my body cracking. Okay, it didn't crack that time. Oh, I did this time. Wow, this is like it's like consistently cracking in like my right shoulder. Should we worry? No, no, it's not painful or anything. It's just I don't know. Is that bad? <laughs> is that bad? It's funny. People used to call the next title Breath of the Wild Two. Yeah, yeah, because we didn't. We had no idea then. As long as it doesn't hurt, I think it's fine. Yeah, it's probably just because I'm like really unfit. Like it doesn't hurt, but my arms are not used to doing this. It's like, why are you putting your arm up above your head? Anyway, that's enough. That's enough. Thank you, Kieran. Breath of the Wild was Zelda U until it got its title. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I think I read they didn't want um, they didn't want to tell us the title of Tears of the Kingdom because it was like I'm not going to give away heaps. Maybe maybe like give away a little bit and like people would like you know try to figure it out what it means and everything. All right, what was I doing? Oh yeah, we fought something. We're definitely going to take this spear because we've got some shit weapons on us right now. Like I've got, I don't need the axe. I don't really need the Zora spear because it's only nine, but. I mean, this one's only 10, so it's not really much better, but anyway. Anyway, there's more little guardians. We can use those weapons on them. You used to get that catch sound in your right shoulder when you rotate it. Yeah, it was like this shoulder every time I went like. I think it's just like I'm not used to doing that. Wait, no, jump and jump and attack. Do I have to burn that? Okay. Let's. Not use a fire arrow. Do it that way instead. Maybe they had a different title and then they were like, maybe we need a better title. Mm. The Legend of Zelda Princess's Demise. Oof. Oof. Vito wishes that's what the game was called. Right. Yeah, now we can just get like the little little weak guardian spear. Because I don't need anything powerful for this guy. It's the same. But I also don't really need this. The Zora spear is very pretty, but it's not good. I feel bad leaving it because it's pretty. Do I have a photo of it actually? There's probably a ton that I don't have photos of. <sighs> I'm just releasing trapped gas in my bones. Or between my bones. Okay, way past bedtime for me. I was gonna say it's getting late for you as well, trial. Thank you for hanging out though, and hope you have a good sleep. I saw a video where a guy shoots a mineral deposit in this game with a normal arrow and it catches on fire for some reason. Huh. People still finding out some weird things in this game six years later. <gasps> Vito, there was something that happened near the start of stream where I was in a shrine and there was like a, there was like a thing of wood that was holding up a block and I had to like shoot like the, the, um, the rope to let it go down. And I wasn't sure if there was going to be something above that area with, like, the, the wooden thing that had now, like, rather than, like, sitting out this, it was, like, against the wall, like that. So I tried to get over there, didn't make it. But I discovered Link could grab onto the wooden part and climb it. 
And I've never seen anyone do that before. And I was like, this is new. <laughs> I'll have to like find it from the stream and like clip it myself or something. Cause it was like, it was weird. And I wonder if anyone else has done that before. I feel like they probably have, but maybe I was like the first, I don't know. It's 1 a.m. trial. <gasps> Get some sleep. Link doing the climbing cheat. But like I couldn't like I couldn't climb any higher than the wood part, so I couldn't climb on like the shrine type of wall. It was just like the wooden bit wooden bit. But I was just Yeah, I've never seen it before. Like cracking sound in my shoulder. Wax? How about you couldn't stop? <laughs> you wanted to keep doing it. Guessing I can just like burn those. Uh, and I don't have like a, a fire nearby. It's all the way over there. It's not worth it. We'll use a fire arrow. They should break. I hope. There we go. I heard Kieran was hating Jedi Survivor because there's not enough Jedi murder in that one. <laughs> hmm. Doesn't work when I stand on it. Kieran. <laughs> hey, it's the key. Oh. <laughs> that chest that I got earlier that I dragged towards me. Didn't need to do that because I could have accessed it here, but I guess we got it early. So. You know, that works. Is that the end? Is that it? I can get another heart. Or we could, we could just wait for me to like Get two more shrines and then get two. Mm. All right. Where's some other shrines that I know about? So there's this one here that I can see from this tower. So we can just go there. Uh, this one, I think it was just this one here. I don't think there's one this close, so we can delete that. These icons are for the stone taluses. Um, oh yeah, there's one here. This one I think has, you need to do a couple of things like around the area. So it's not just like a, a quick one. Uh, that one... Um, again, I think this one you have to, like, get, like, the orb from here and take it over s there or somewhere. Sneak over. If I vaguely am rem remembering right. Um, so we'll go to this one, though. This one is probably going to be an easy one to do. <laughs> You're saving a lot of money not buying games. You can't play a few more characters. You would, wouldn't you? What about games where 
it's like story based and you swap characters and then one of them is female but then other characters are male would you play them All right, um, I think that's it right there. And there's also a stable nearby. So maybe let's go to the stable and then we can just ride my bike over to the shrine. And actually, maybe after this we go to Hyrule Castle. Emma angling for the Razzy Seas. Actually, that's not what I thought of first, Kieran. The first... The one that I was thinking of was actually The Last of Us when I was like thinking of that. You reached 203 followers today. Awesome, but I didn't realize I broke 200 because my follow alerts were busted. Oh, silly alerts. Oh, but congratulations, that's exciting. Even tied. Oh, yes, Vito, I gotta do that. We could do that today. Either we could go to Hyrule. And get some good stuff. Or we could try Eventide Island. Although if I fail Eventide, I don't know how many attempts I could give today. Because <laughs> Kieran is streaming tonight. Remember, we do Eventide. Because Eventide's fun. How pretty is this stable? This stable's very pretty. Is there anything in here that I need to read or look at? What recipe is there? No book. If you could control the majority of the game. Yeah, okay. I wonder if they'll let us pet the dogs in tears again with our swords. I hope not. Emma was clearly thinking about Fire Emblem. I haven't, I've never played Fire Emblem and I honestly, I haven't really watched it either. So I don't even know much about Fire Emblem. I think, is Fire Emblem like, is it strategy turn-based? Will you do Eventide in an hour? I mean, I feel like I probably could. <laughs> Maybe we save it for like the start of another, for another stream. <laughs> Let's get my bike though. Kieran, have you seen the bike? Look at the bike, how cool is it? we go. Waifu chess. Okay. You're gonna stay there back? In most of the newer games, you can pick the gender of your main character. Yeah, okay. Super Zelda Kart, and Nintendo will never make Mario Kart 9. I mean, yeah. With all the new tracks that we're getting in Mario Kart, it's almost like a new Mario Kart anyway, so. Drawing Parabolus? Para Parabolus? I don't know how to say that word. We have an orb. Okay. I see what we gotta do. I think. I'll do some smash card instead. Or maybe I need to go with it. Uh. Yeah, it's gonna stay over there. We gotta change that. We gotta change it. Okay, you stay there. Oh, okay. It wants to move. Don't fucking move on me. Oh, wait, no. You're safe. You're safe there. Perfect. That's actually really good. Okay. 
Okay, damn it, I didn't want to fall off. It's just pronounced like parabola. Parabolas. As long as they include the Mario movie version of Rainbow Road, I'm good. That'd be cool. Speaking of that video. <laughs> so I, for the Mario movie and like, I I reacted to it on stream and I edited it and I put it up on like on, on YouTube. And when one of the trailers was out, I was like, I said in the video, I was like, oh, how cool would it be if they include this Rainbow Road in a Mario Kart game? in like uh, somewhat similar words to that and someone commented on it being like um did you like there's mario there's rainbow road in like a ton of like in every mario kart game as if i didn't like know that it existed and i was like yeah i know i was talking about this one then making a track of you know based off the movie one I'm like, how do you take me saying that as if I've like never played Mario Kart before? It was, yeah. It was funny. I was like, you know, I know there's Rainbow Road in like pretty much every Mario Kart game, hence why I said it. it was... <laughs> uh, Bob's book, I mean, thank you for the hydra and the stretch. Wait, Kieran, how do you say that word? Is it with the S or without? Uh, you looked up about why the Jedi wasn't female in the latest games. The director said Rey was female, so didn't want another f want to see another female Jedi. Oh, that's shitty. I mean, I'm sure there's a lot of um sexist fans out there who didn't like her. I think it's actually in every Mario Kart game since the SNES one, but don't quote me on that. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I don't know if it's in every... I know it's obviously in a lot of them. Do you know about... All. Okay, so what I'm going to do is we're going to... Oh my god, pick it up. I didn't mean to do that. Let's do that. And I will get the chest once we've hopefully done this. Okay. I thought it might knock them over, but apparently it does not have much power. Oh, okay, that didn't work. There we go, there we go. Parabola is singular. Parabolas is plural. I was being a pest telling you that, that you pronounce them by just saying the other one with, with without an S but without giving you any help. Yeah, yeah, I figured that's what you were doing. <laughs> 22 Thunderblade. Actually. Uh, that's fine. We can, we can get these sledgehammers like everywhere. All the characters in the sequel trilogy were wasted, unfortunately. Our boy Finn got shafted extra hard, yeah. Like, look, if someone doesn't like Ray because of her character, totally fine. Valid, but I'm sure there's many people that don't like her because she is female, and that's gross. <laughs> um, yeah, was Rainbow Road in SNES Mario Kart? Surprisingly, I forget. I've never played SNES Mario Kart. 
I don't know. Okay. Some people didn't like Finn being black either. Yeah. Again, yeah. <laughs> so there's just people out there being racist and sexist. It's gross. Let's just do that instead. That works. Oh, there's a ladder in there. I'm like, why would you need a ladder? I guess if you somehow got in here and you didn't have the ball in here with you. That would make sense. That's definitely easily possible. There you go. Snes Mario Kart is hard. Yeah, it wouldn't be easy, especially with like the controls that you'd have in a game that old. You know for sure that one has a rainbow road, yeah. You liked Finn in Star Wars? You've heard the High Republic stuff is really great for inclusivity. Really looking forward to reading it in 2025, 20, 26 after I finished my Legends books. Yeah. <laughs> it feels like you're always on ice in that game. Ugh. Ugh. And then when you get to the ice tracks, it gets even worse. Yeah. Oh, my bike's gone. Okay, then. Um, all right, what do we want to do? I haven't been into this area here, so I don't think I'm going to have time to do Eventide Island. I don't know. Just under an hour, like... I kind of don't want to be rushed, so maybe next time we will get to Eventide. Um... I'm trying to remember where there are shrines. Where I remember them being. I remember there's one around here. There's definitely one around here. I'm pretty sure there's one up here. I don't know if there's one in here or there's something to do here. I think this is the one where it's like pitch black inside. So we could try that. I don't know if there's any, like, around this way. Oh, I think there's... <gasps> we could do this. Forgotten Temple. We could also fight some Lynels, because I do need to upgrade my clothing more. I could actually go to a fairy and see what I need. Or at least see if I can upgrade anything. We'll quickly go to Kakariko for that. You tried playing Mario Kart 64 these days and I could not stay on track. I've always found Mario Kart 64 a bit tricky. I never owned it though, so I never played it a lot, but... Yeah, like Mario Kart 8 is just like... The controls are so good. <laughs> so it's tough going back to the older ones. Mario Kart 8 controls way too differently and you're used to it now, yeah. SNES Mario Kart... Um, was your favourite but you hated the chocolate there's a chocolate racetrack <gasps> that sounds cool you love what they did to the SNES tracks in Mario Kart 8 they kept them mostly flat so they feel like the OG tracks yeah see I never played the original ones but I'm glad that they're good oh shit we don't need give me your rupees I was like, is there another one? There's usually two here. Nice. Hey, Sky, welcome in. How you doing? 
All right, can I upgrade anything? Let's see. I do. Mm. To the max. Ooh. We can upgrade our snow pants. Our topaz earrings. Our barbarian helm. Wait, we need one lion or horn for that one. Oh, I can do both of these. Awesome. Oh, and I, and you can upgrade the snow boots too. Oh, nice. All right. Ah. Mm. I know, I know, I know. All right. This is good at 12. Awesome. So we gotta got fight quite a few Lionels <laughs> to fully upgrade this one. I don't do the snow boots though. Oh, I need five Molduga fins? Oh shit, okay, we gotta go fight some Moldugas. I mean, I don't need to fully upgrade this stuff because we've also done a lot that we need to do. But I will upgrade these ones. Gives me a little bit more defense. Mm. The chocolate track was mostly difficult because if you went off track, it was rough terrain and slowed you down a lot. Yeah, yeah, okay. Ah. I am looking forward to what the um, mm. the last. I think we've only got two more waves left for Mario Kart Eight. I'm excited to see what we're going to get, though. We will upgrade these ones. Since I don't have the headpiece. Although, is there a headpiece for this set? I thought there was. Maybe there is. I don't know. You heard the PC port of Jedi Survivor is unfortunately messed. That's what I've heard as well. I don't think... Kieran had any problem... Oh, I can do this one again. And it requires a star fragment. Ah. Um. Mm. Yeah, I think he, I think because Kieran's playing on PS5, I think I don't think he's any, had any issues with it. Ah. But I did hear the PC one is not ah. not the best. I don't know what devs are doing these days, honestly. Usually the PC ports for the superior ones, but it feels like they con consistently botch the game's launch nowadays. Ugh, that's so annoying. I guess that's a benefit to playing on console, mostly. And one thing that I do like about Nintendo, uh, like, not so much like the Pokemon games, because I hear that um, the Pokemon games aren't that great on release a lot of the time but pretty much every other like nintendo game like it's usually like pretty good <laughs> they don't really need to fix a lot um with it you have a feeling they're only gonna update mario kart 8 but not actually make a new one I think we're more likely to see a new one on whatever the next console is. I think. I think, you know, with with all the new tracks on Mario Kart 8, it's kind of like a new game, so it's definitely going to give it a bit more life, I think. Um, but probably... Probably the next next console. I guess since most of the audience is on console, they prioritize those versions. Yeah. Whatever the original place for the game is usually the best. Ports, no matter where they go, suck. Definitely helps if it's like, if it's made for a specific console, for sure. 
Okay. So... That's 12, 5, and 5 now. So if I use this with like 8 and 8, that's probably the best that I can get out of it. Uh -huh -huh. Alright, what, what do we want to do? We could check out this. I was going to choose somewhere and just like explore. <laughs> this is where I have been already. So yeah, like around here and this area haven't like haven't been around here much at all. Obviously there's a lot of Hebrew here as well that I haven't done. Um, we could go and do this one, which actually this one might be really easy with my current with the Majora's Mask actually because I'm pretty from memory I think you have to like carry an orb along that part of the beach and there's like a bunch of moblins and bokoblins and stuff but with the Majora's Mask it might be really easy which I'm happy to do that I, I remember doing it the hard like the normal way the first time I played this. Pokemon suffers from having to be an annual series. They try to release a new one or a remake every year so they end up with not a lot of time to work on it, yeah. There are some good ports. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, I think it's definitely... They can definitely be done well. Somebody wanted Breath of the Wild to play Zelda, but you haven't been able to get it. Oh, that's cool. You know what? I feel like I didn't mean to kill that bird. Let's go. The bike is so awesome. <laughs> is the bike faster than the horses? I don't remember. You like Doom 2016 and Witcher 3 on the Switch. Even though they're clearly the inferior versions of those games. I will say the bike makes me explore less. Because I'm just like zooming through. What's this one? Quick! Oh, I okay. We can Revali scale that. I was like, I'll try to climb. I'll try to climb. Oh my god! I still missed it. <laughs> oh, fuck. Oh. Uh. Maybe not. Oh my god, that, that seemed like the better way to do it. This one's tricky. <sighs> How's the control of the motorcycle? It's hard. Is it hard to control turning? When you're going fast? Yeah, a bit. Bike is like a three-speed horse, so you can have horses that are faster than it, but the horses can die. The bike cannot. That's true. And also, you probably run out of... Um... Okay, that was... Oh my god. I got up fine that time, but I just... missed the actual jump. Oh my god. No, that was... I swear I pressed jump on that part. Oh my God, this one's pissing me off. This cork is the real boss today. Wow, I fucked that up, didn't I? You know, I don't even have to get it. Like, I don't have to get every cork that I see. Oh 
You know what? That's probably easier. Jump, Link, jump. There we go. Climbing up multiple ones was a bad idea. <laughs> you hate timed tasks? Same. Same. Okay, is my... No, my bike is not there anymore. Welcome back, bunny. Oh, there's another Korok. All the way down here. Whee! Whee! We do need Korok seeds. Or should I say Korok poop, so... It's worth doing this. Leave me alone, wolves. Wolves, not wolves. My gosh, there's a lot to this one. They're definitely leading you to this puzzle. Was getting chilly, so now he has hot, hot, co hot coffee and noodles. Oh, nice. We're gonna be full of shit sometimes. That's just how it is. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Okay. I feel like this this should be easy. I hope wearing the mask works. <laughs> we are very <laughs> we're like we're right. <laughs> Probably a little bit close, but that's fine. Only a hero bearing this ancient orb shall be granted the right of a, of trial on Wrist Peninsula. Let's do it. This should be easy with the Majora's Mask. How the fuck is Link reading that? I'd be squinting extra hard. Not only is he wearing the Majora's Mask, but he we were like... We were like this. He couldn't have read all of that. Not the bloody fire keys. Leave me alone. We're just gonna have a nice stroll over here, okay? We're gonna have a horde of moblins and enemies following me, I reckon. Maybe. Maybe not. Maybe he just made up half of that sentence, yeah. No. No. Oh, <laughs> they, they lit that on fire. Okay, you know what? Wait, did they leave me alone? They left me alone. I hope these guys don't see me on the horses. I don't think I've been near ones on horses. Oh, no, I think they are going to... Oh, are they going to attack me, though? Maybe they don't. Very good. Thank you for the follow. Welcome in. Hmm. This. The Majora's Mask makes this <laughs> ridiculously easy. Wow. Hello. And I have done this one like without it before. Like I, I would have done this before the DLC came out. So I wouldn't have even had the, the Modra's mask. But it's very handy. It's very handy. Oh, oh boy. A blood moon while we're here. I am so glad I'm using the Majora's Mask.
I did not reset the orb. Can I skip you? Hello? Hey Slater, how you doing? Majora's cheat, yes. Uh, Bunny, you've given up on the Dark Elves. Oh no. Now he plays a magical demonic verb with his ooze friends. Oh, that sounds cool. These guys stop following me eventually, so we get. There's so far to go on this one. I wish I could just go across the water, but I know you can't. At least I don't think you can. <sighs> no, no, no. We're getting there. We're getting there. I'm gonna pause for a second. Um, Anthony, thank you for the hydrate and the stretch. You doing great, Slater? That's good. Just got home from it from day one of two. Oh, my first aid training course. I hope it went well. I'm doing good. We finally got the bike. We finally got the bike in this game. I'm like out of water. Yeah, I'm out of water. I had the very last bit of it. That fire case, yep. <laughs> oh, he's gone now. He's gone. But this place is like surrounded in fire case apparently. Least I can run faster than they can fly. I can't pick that up. Okay. <sighs> you haven't seen the bike before? <gasps> I'll have to show it. I'll have to show it. Once I do this. There we go. Oh, the shit handling horses. <laughs> Some of them are not the easiest, are they? I think there's a cork behind this as well. I see that little pile of leaves and I am suspicious. So we will check that out over there. You heard it's easy to kill the horse. Yeah, you can easily kill them in this. Yep. Yeah. I'm gonna grab you guys in case I need you. We have the bike. Actually, let me let me activate the shrine first, and then I will get the bike out and show you. One bomb arrow, and they're dead. Yeah. You wish you could do the same to the Koroks? No! No. No killing horses. Or Koroks. Alright, bike. Here's the bike! This is the motorcycle. We'll just do a little... A little zoom. Oh, we got like a light as well! <laughs> this is the bike. The light almost feels the most unnatural part about it. <laughs> you can jump. Actually, the turning is not that bad, but even when you're riding it. Oops. A little stuck. Doesn't like that. Yeah. This is very cool. 
It's very cool. So now, when I need to get around, I can use that. And we still have quite a few, like, shrines to get. So... It's good, I can actually get use out of it. What's this one? Oh, it, it's not actually a puzzle. It's not a puzzle because... The thing we had to do outside was the main puzzle. <gasps> nice. You say bike, I say that's a motorcycle. I mean, a bike... I would call a motorcycle also a bike. A type of bike. But you've got like push bike, which is a bike as well, but... Yeah, I think they're both called a bike. <laughs> But a motorcycle is not like a push bike, you know. You call them bikes too, yeah. It's a type of bike, I would say. But you don't speak English, so hey. You're on my side though. <laughs> Semantics, yeah. I don't know if it's like a just a common Aussie thing to call a motorcycle a bike. As well. But yeah, I'll call it like a push bike or a motorcycle a bike. But if I need to be specific, I'll say like motorbike. Oh yeah, motorbike. Motorbike, motorcycle. Or push bike if I want to talk about like a push bike, you know. But they're all bikes. As well. Alright, well that was easy. It was just time consuming, that one. Okay. I was like... Where is that cork that I got here? Oh, I had to zoom in. It's fine. Um, what do we want to do next? I kind of want to go into Hyrule Castle. We haven't been into Hyrule Castle yet. And I kind of want to get some of the weapons from Hyrule Castle. Actually, let's go to my house and see if I can upgrade my house. Because I want to be able to put some of my special weapons away. Where's Hatino? Hatino is here. Depends on who you talk to in the US. Yeah. Um, RBK, welcome in. Fight Ganon for all time's sake. We're not up to that yet. <laughs> Not yet. We'll probably fight Ganon as like the last thing I do. I want to get all my shrines first and do Trial of the Sword. But we can still go into the castle and have a little wonder. Motorbike is fairly common in Florida to be re referred to. Yeah, I think that that's quite common here as well. You know, motorbike. I don't know if motorbike or motorcycle is more common here. Probably motorbike, actually. Haven't fought him yet? No. So we've done all the Divine Beasts. We've done... We finished the Champion's Ballad DLC. I haven't done Trial of the Sword yet. So basically what I want to do before we finish the game is all the shrines and Trial of the Sword. And if I can upgrade more of my inventory space, that'd be nice, but not, like, super you know, important. Look, we only got the one slot here. The house does look pretty, prettier once we upgrade it. Although, where can I... Where are they? Maybe I need to find the quest and I can... Is it a side quest? Yes. Where are they? Over here somewhere. Oh, they're making their way over here again. Mm. Although I don't own one and one never will for medical reasons, so I guess it's different if you own one. Yeah, maybe I've I've actually never been on a on a motorcycle before. Hey Green, how you doing? Zelda time? Yeah. We're trying to trying to get through the game before the new one comes out very, very soon. 
you have to get a new Switch so you can play the game all the way through. I love this game, it's so good. Whoa, whoa, easy there, chatty. A little space. Let me get where I'm going before you talk to me. Oh, okay, sorry, Bolson. <laughs> hey, Fudge, how you doing? Green, you've been playing this before, Tears of the Kingdom, and loving it. First time I've really played it too. Oh, nice. I'm glad you're loving it. I wish I could, like, play this again for the first time. <laughs> Which is one reason why I held off replaying it for, like, a couple of years. Because I was like, I want to, like, at least try to forget a bunch about it. You do feel for the game's... Being called Zelda, she's a pretty underrated as a character. You think so? I think Zelda is pretty badass in like most of the Zelda games. And there's always that like, Zelda's not the, the Zelda's a girl. <laughs> Breath of Wild's going well, Fudge. Butts also <laughs> going well. You've been on one and rode on one as a passenger. Yeah, cool. Mm. Hi. I asked Hudson to clear some land in the Akala region. Clearing land? Yep. Business expansion, you know. I'll probably have him head out soon. If you want to say anything to Hudson, better catch him before he leaves. Are you Hudson? You are Hudson. Yeah, what are you doing? Taking a break. By the way, did you buy that house? I did. Impressive. You're just a pup. Uh, come again? Don't worry about it. Anyway, what? Looks like I've got to head out and leave this place soon. Why? I've been transferred. Might have heard, but Bolson Construction is planning to expand big time. Yeah, big expansion. Where we go. Zora's Domain is north of here. We're going north of that, though. An area called the Akala region. That's pretty far. Yeah. Well, good luck. Okay, then. Well, no time like the present, right? I should be getting on my way. If you'd like, you should come to the Akala region and say hello. Well, take care of yourself. I would like to upgrade my house, but okay. He's gone. He's gone. You just woke up from a 13 hour nap. Whoa. That's a long nap. It was your first time trying melatonin. I hope it was, I hope it was good. We need that memory wipe, memory wipe technology from Eternal Sunshine. Yep. Just for like, you know, for a game that I know that I love and just like wipe it and play it again. <laughs> it was a good nap, that's good. You agree Zelda's a badass. You've seen you've heard several people say they like playing as Link and don't want to play as Zelda. I think playing as Zelda would be cool, but I like I don't mind playing as Link either. I think like Yeah, I mean like Link's awesome too. But I don't know. He, I definitely think he serves as more of like a link between you and playing the game rather than like a fleshed out character himself. Oh. So the both of us sort of hit a personal milestone, huh? Time to kick back and get leisurely, baby. Though you look a bit judgmental for such a fine moment. You're looking at me like we should both keep working at it. Heh. You don't have to say it. Oh, well, I just bought a house and it's totally empty and depressing. Oh, sure, that's you to a T. I see it in your eyes. Yep, I was just like you about a lifetime ago. So tell you what, let me help by taking care of furniture or the exterior or anything really for 5,000 rupees. Actually, no, scratch that for you. Let's start at 100. Just cruise on by whenever you have the spending cash and we'll talk. Okay, 100 sounds much better. 
Hi. Yes, build me something. Uh, gear displays. We do need a bow one. And we need like more weapon ones as well, like maybe two. Because there's Daruk and um, Ebosa. Hang on a sec, I've got to get my mind right. Hi. Carson, we are on. Ah. Been waiting. <laughs> Practically perfect, if I do say so myself. I'm a little jealous. Again. Again. Okay, we gotta, I think we have to equip the one that we want to display, which is this one. Yeah, look at that. Look at that. Wait. And then we have Boulder Breaker. And Scimitar of the Seven. Oh, I thought they were gone. I was like, <gasps> oh. I forgot how cheap these ones were. <laughs> oh. We won't be able to fully upgrade the house. Did I play Zelda 2 on Ness? I have played it, yes. I played it when they added it to the, um, to the Switch. You gonna go to bed now, JS? Thanks for stream. Have fun and good night. No worries. Thank you for hanging out. Have a good sleep. Uh, what's the time? It's it's getting. I I should be finishing very very soon anyway. Gear display, weapon. Thank you. You're about to start working, so you'll be out, in and out. No worries, Fudge. Zelda 2 is so hard without save states. I don't know if I would have the patience to finish Zelda 2 without save states or the rewind feature. <laughs> it was it was frustrating, that game. Where is this village where they build stuff? You never found it. So this is Hatino Village. Hatino Village here, where you you can buy this house. This is ours, and then um, they you can pay to get upgrades. So, at the moment we're just getting these weapon displays where you can display certain weapons, and they can do other upgrades too, which I will do. Like they can they can add a front door. Um. Boulder breaker, that's it, right? There we go. So now I'm not going to break my special weapons. Yeah, we can add a door and they eventually add, like, I think some furniture and stuff. Some flowers outside here. We'll, do, we'll see what we can do now. You can buy Link's old house. Wait, is this actually Link's old house from a hundred years ago? I didn't know that if that's the case. It's weird that you only see Ganon's silhouette when you die on Zelda 2, but boss's um, shadow Link. I didn't know that. Zelda version of Skyrim building, yes. <laughs> okay, we don't need any more gear displays. We'll do ha installations. So we can add a bed, lighting, a door. We can add the door like last, I guess. It doesn't really matter. We'll add a bed. Oh. Yeah, I... <laughs> For some reason I thought this house was like super expensive <laughs> after paying the initial fee, but I'm sure it adds up. But yeah, it's not too bad. And we have a lot of rupees at the moment, so.
Yeah, I'll have a look after afterwards. I want to talk to you again. Okay, no, we gotta let you sit down first. <laughs> but then you gotta like get back up again. Installation. Lighting. It was a fan theory, but Age of Calamity confirmed it. Oh, really? Ah. That's really cool. Mm -hmm. But, like, all, also, you'd hope that they would just, like, save that house for you. <laughs> Although, I guess they weren't sure if Link would survive. You know, and all of that. Okay, I actually might have a look inside now. So, we should have lighting and a bed. Look at the lighting. And we have a bed. Nothing fancy, but we can actually like sleep there if we want. Um, I won't add the door just yet. What about house exterior? What can we add? A sign with my name. Plant some flowers or plant trees. We'll plant some flowers first. Mm. You keep saying I need to get back to Skyrim because I'm so close to getting all Xbox achievements. Wow. I feel like that'd be a lot. Now I just need a TV and a PS5. Yep. I mean, our Sheikah Slate could have like games on it, like a Switch. Some flowers out the front. Not a lot, but just like a little bit to look pretty. Link was originally from this village. He moved away when he became a champion. Since he was this little country town's hero, they kept his house around until most people forgot about him. Ah. Is that all from uh, Age of Calamity? Because I don't remember any of that from this. And you get back here just before they demolish it. Yeah. <laughs> Good timing. Kieran, are you cooking dinner? Because something smells tasty. Age of Calamity is a different timeline than Breath of the Wild. Isn't that... Because it's... Age of Calamity is set like during like the start of the calamity, right? Right? We got some trees now. Mm. Bolson tells you that this used to be a house from someone important and they debated for some time about demolishing it. Okay, I guess I forgot <laughs> about that. <laughs> House exterior, a sign with my name. Oh. See, like we're we're going through our money, but we're fine. I want to I want to fully upgrade it. Mm -hmm. hey. oh. <laughs> Gertha, hello. How you doing? Link's house on Link to the Past looks different than here. Yeah. I mean, this one's quite different to any of the others. Link's house. <laughs> oh. uh, installations. Oh, wait, no. Never mind. Yes. Do the gear displays. We'll do the door last. Um, we can do more bow mounts. Oh. I wish I could like do a bunch at once and I have to like go through this loading screen every time. Mm. Ah. I'm not even reading all of that. I'm just like, no. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Age of Calamity starts a little before Ganon awakes and starts wrecking everything. Yeah, that's what I thought. 
was either like just after or around that time or before. And I wonder in which games Link has a house. I feel like he has a house in like most of them, right? Mm. Alright. Gear displays. I can do another. Maybe it's like three of each. You think Age of Calamity is different timeline? I don't think it is, because I think you play as like the champions though, don't you? It's just like, you know, it's a hundred years before this one. So it was made by like a different team because it, it's the people that make like the, is it the Dynasty Warriors games or whatever? But it's still like this this story. Okay, what? Okay. Up to the shield ones. We could have got through this so much quicker if it wasn't for these loading screens. Yo. You can play as Imper as well. Like. Young, I'm guessing young Imper then. Must be young Imper. Okay. Yes, I'm ready. We'll have enough. Because we've got like, you know, maybe, maybe one more shield mount and then the door and that should be it. And then our house is going to look all pretty and done. She looks just like that girl that is super shy. Can't remember her name. Um, I don't know what you're talking about. Starts with a P, maybe? Okay, I think there's one more shield mount. I think there's three of each. Bump love. Thank you for the raid. Welcome in raiders. Pyre, yes. There we go. I remember it. it was a P. Hey Bum and Taxi, how you doing? What were you playing today? I know you've been playing some Resi 4 remake. You be playing more of that? Got your bike yet? I did. I finally got it. like we literally got it like not very long ago. <laughs> But we finally got it. Finish that finish that part of the DLC. And now we're making our house look all pretty and upgraded. Mm. I think we only have the door left to do. Yeah. Mm. We spent a bit on this, but that was expected. Oh, you finished it. <gasps> That's exciting. What did you think? I haven't played it yet, but... I did get it. I got the PS5 copy for my birthday though, so I have it now. I'm excited to play it. It looks really good. Okay, is that it? Ah! You housing monster! Oh. You got everything? Ah. Such is the way of youth. Driven. Even reckless, some might say. Well, since you bought everything, I threw in some free furniture. Yeah, at least I could do. Carson, look lively. Ah. I'm with you. Also, he does his makeup like I do mine. The winged liner. Is that it? Well, I am tuckered. I couldn't swing a... Ball peen hammer right now. I don't know what that is. <laughs> Let alone an axe. Break time, baby. Complete. <gasps> look at our house. Let's have a look inside. <gasps> There's more lighting. We have a little dining table. We got some cooking stuff. 
Oh, bookcase. Some storage. I love when this house is fully upgraded. We got like a desk. Oh. <gasps> oh. 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 This is like a DLC thingy. Um. You haven't played the original, but it was great. Better than 3 Remake. Oh, nice. Do you think you'll ever play the original? Do you think you will? See, I've only played the original. <sighs> this seems like a good spot for the picture you got from Cass. Let's display it. Yeah. I forgot that you could put it in your house. Oh, that was nice. Oh, it's on the wall as well. I met do we get a memory? No. Hmm. So sweet. Look at it there. <gasps> this looks like one of the um it's not quite the same, but it kind of looks like the Korok flowers. This house is so cool. It looks great once you've done everything. So there's like, yeah, three for each type weapon type. <sighs> Definitely going to play it sometime. Nice, nice. I wonder what you'll think of the original having played the remake first. Oh, this is new. I never knew about this. About the photo in there. I... I don't think I would have done that veto on my first playthrough, like when I did the, the main game and the DLC, because I would have built this house up before I got the photo, and I probably haven't come back here either. So this is probably, like, completely new for me as well. That was really sweet. <gasps> Aww. It's a big photo as well. You never came back here after the DLC? Yeah, I don't think I did either. There we go. There we go. We got our house. And I finally, I could put those weapons away. And not have to worry about using them or them taking up space. Also, um, welcome in. How you doing? A picture of our long dead friends and me for... It's a dark way to look at it, yes. <laughs> and Mifa was our friend. Different kind of friend. But still a friend. And for anyone that has not seen this yet, here is our bike. Got our bike with our house here. We need a little, like, Place that I can put like a, a spot for my bike. This is the bike! Great. The bike is awesome. I don't I don't have much space to ride around here. But for anyone that hasn't seen the bike before, oh we can go over here. We got the bike. Look at these hills that we can ride along. We can jump with the bike. Oh fuck, that is. We're fine, we're alive. It's okay. <laughs> I thought I was dead then. <gasps> You've never seen it? Had no idea it existed, to be honest. Yeah, so it's like a... It's a DLC item that you get. Um, can you even fold the bike? I don't, I don't know if you can. I don't know. You're going to try to sleep, see you soon. No worries, Yumi. Thanks for hanging out. Coraline movie quote. I haven't seen Coraline in ages. That's a great movie, though. I wonder what the biggest jump you can you can do with this. Hang on. Let me, let me save first. Go to the highest point. Oh. We could go up here. This is pretty high up. Mm. 
you're heading out. It's almost past midnight here. No worries, Anthony. Thank you for hanging out. How long am I streaming for? Not much longer because, Kieran, it is 5.30, so it is your stream time. Um, we'll, we'll do this. And I, I upgraded the house. I'm glad I was able to finish that as well. But I'll be fin I'll finish up after this. I will. Because I know Kira wants to go back to playing some Jedi Survivor. Okay, we are high up. <laughs> we can try to go down like here, I guess. Let's see if it, if it lets me put my bike up here. Yeah, it does. I want, can we can we go back? We can't go back. All right. Um, let's do a little turn around. And here we go. <laughs> okay, I <laughs> just just drop. <laughs> Did you see it? It disappeared. <laughs> it just, it dropped and then it like just, it was like, oh, I'm falling. I'm gonna, I'm gonna just disappear for now. There we go. <laughs> he went, nope. Yeah, pretty much. While I'm here though, I'm just gonna grab some of these. Uh, and let's, uh, where, where do I want to play next time? Also, I don't know. That's the stone talus, I think. Um, we could do eventide next time. We could start with that. That would be fun. <laughs> we'll go over here. Uh, hey, free soap. Good morning. It is, uh, it is. Almost night for me, and it is the end of my stream. I've been on for seven and a half hours, and also it is time for Kieran's stream. Kieran is playing more Jedi Survivor. So I'm sure he's excited to get on for that. Hey, thank you everyone for hanging out. Thank you. Thank you for those raids today. And he follows and subs. But yeah, maybe next time we'll tackle the challenge that is Eventide Island. That's always fun. Let's do a save. Or or we could go to the castle. Either one. We'll see. We will see. Nintendo, how dare you take a Link Crash Fatality from us? <laughs> and then when I'm falling, obviously I have like my... My, um... What's the glidey thing called again we have that we can glide so you know anyway that's gonna be it i will be back uh not tomorrow but the day after with more breath of the wild uh we'll be continuing then um yeah yeah that's gonna be it who shall we so uh, i might I might just offline raid Kieran because I gotta start his stream up anyway. I don't have time to really <laughs> stick around for a different raid and I wanna get Kieran's stream started. So we'll offline raid Kieran. Um, if you guys don't know Kieran, aka Caradan Zero, he is my husband and he is gonna be playing some Jedi Survivor. So if you guys wanna stick around with him, we're going to send you there. Uh, since we use the same PC to stream, though, we cannot be on at the same time. So I'm going to rate him. Once I'm done, I'm going to change things over and start his stream. Um, so we can hang out there for some Star Wars. Uh, let's get that going. Um, but yeah, let's go here. While that happens, I can turn the switch off and get some stuff done. Kieran, <laughs> thank you for the exercise, but I'm finishing now. We're finishing. Um, yeah, I'll be back. Not tomorrow, but the day after. If you guys, if anyone wants to join our Discord server, we hang out there when I'm not streaming. Um, check out my YouTube channels for any gaming content while I'm not streaming as well, if you like. Um, 
yeah, that's about it. Thank you for hanging out. Have a lovely rest of your time zone, and I will see you all, not tomorrow, but the day after for some more Zelda. All right. Bye.